Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on YouTube by Noah Horn. He says, this podcast fueled my love for small men with funny voices. Really? Uh, actually, you may not know this, but Toby actually transitioned. Yeah, so she's small not woman actually, with, small funny woman with funny voices. Thank you very much. Toby is here. I am here. Also here is Swagger Souls. Hello. Not a funny voice, you know what I'm saying? Like, Normal voice, <laughs> tall guy. Normal voice, yeah. tall fella, Matt. Yeah, hola there, mi amigo. Normal voice once again. Yeah. And Mason's here too. It, what's going on, mate? Yeah, this is my voice for the day. Just a bunch of blokes with normal yeah. voices my and one Bruce. wacky female. Mason sounds like he fucks. Yeah, my name's Bruce. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Bruce. Just, I'm, I'm is it, is it true, Bruce? Bruce? Do you fuck? Uh, no, nah, I'd rather a nice cold bevy, mate. You'd Do you rather... sell cigarettes to primary schoolers? No, nah, I take them. <laughs> <laughs> you take them from primary yeah, schoolers? Yeah, yeah. You just kind of walk into a primary school and just rob them for nah, their cigarettes? Fucking sometimes, or fucking. You just steal them. You bastard. You know that cigarettes are like the trading cards of today, right? Yeah. Those no. kids, it's very important to them to collect the different packs. You can actually sell them at the outside of Senno on uh, Saturdays. I bet you could. You sound like your wife's name is Barbara. Nah, Shirls. Ah, oh, Barbara or Shirls. It was one of them. Yeah, she's at home right now. She's fucking, fuck knows what she's doing. Probably washing the dishes or some shit. Do you, do you like your wife? Do you enjoy her company? <sighs> is, that a t is that a tricky question? Only when she... Oh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think I know where you're going with that. Uh, <laughs> it was for another day, mate. All right. Well, you got a little drink in your hand, don't you, Bruce? As do I, as does Matt, as does Sw Swagger in a mug. Wait, and why is Swaggers in a mug? Because I'm classy like that. Okay, okay, yeah. sorry, sorry. And Thank you've you. got a tall glass of, what is that? Uh, it is um, beer that's lost all its fizz because I left it out for too long. Beer that's lost all its bro, fizz. That's like a triple distilled IPA, bro. That's got hints of fucking, I don't know what they sound like. It's got hints of... <laughs> what, what Wait. That sounds like, like a beer fanatic. Yeah. I mm. thought this was beer, but it has the dis... Oh. What, what what is it? What? Delicious smell of mango what? gamer subs. Oh, what? Interesting. Really? Did you know that they actually sponsored this show? Wait, this very show? That's right. That's I guess I had to tell show. you about it. Wow, if you didn't know that Gamer Sub sponsors this show, then maybe you've been drinking too much Black Label, Toby. Ha ah, ha ha, can't laugh to it. Anyways, a, it's a Black Label whiskey that we It drinking. is a Black Label whiskey. That's the joke. If you want to drink <laughs> some high-octane powdered energy, then you can grow, go ahead and g g g g g grab yourself some Gamer Sub. <laughs> I drank like a whole fucking cup of bouncing off the walls <laughs> and jumping to fucking Jupiter. Yeah. Gamer Sub is the number one awesome energy drink rated right. for gaming. It has new traffic, zero calories, keto, sugar-free, and it'll give you that good boost in the morning, whether you want to game, whether you want to play around, whether you want to smoke some weed, or whether or not you want to get your dick wet or your pussy pounded. I love all those things, man. <laughs> Where can I buy this product? You can buy it at gamersubs.gg, and, and you can use code, code MISFITS Holy for 10% shit. off your order. You like fucking hentai? You like fucking little 2D drawn characters with, with big tits uh, that, that you could fantasize yeah. about because your wife is ugly? Uh -huh. Then go to gamersubs.gg and get yourself your very very own. Where the fuck to go? Are they even still on we sale? Still have it. Oh, <laughs> food cup. This oh, one yeah. isn't on sale anymore, but you can go and see what there is. There's a big selection and there's a new flavor. New flavor. <laughs> oh, I want to awesome. try that. I want to try that. New flavor as well as pineapple cocktail. Sounds I would delicious. recommend mixing Jeez. gamer subs with alcohol, but if you're going to do it with one of them, that would be the flavor. We also have gamer girl cotton candy for the wide food cups. If you want a bit of a sweet tooth while you jank it, Go ahead and drink some gamer it's always, subs today. It always comes back to the jacking with you. I also feel like if I just don't stop you, then you will just do an ad for like an hour. <laughs> yeah. Just take up yeah, the whole much. podcast, segue into different ads that don't even sponsor the show. You'll start Guys, rocking. you need a call now. There's only 400 units left. Oh, what's, oh sorry, we've sold out. We've completely, we've sold, completely sold out. Sold. He's just the most We're effective yet, We have salesman. not sold out. Go to gamersubs.gg now. <laughs> wow, what a great ad. You know, it's really topical that we're talking about caffeine and alcohol this early into the show because these are both drugs, drugs. Uh, Wait, what? only swagger said it at this point oh, shit. they're both drugs they're awesome bro. Like, wouldn't it be a fun idea if we like talked about what drugs are the best drugs and like arrange them in some kind of list by tier what easy k2 weed Crack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> slow down. We've got a whole podcast down, to cool. get this done. You're just oh. flying your blitz through all that content. There we go. Sorry. Here it is. Whoa. Look, it's tearmaker.com. It it's a trend that is still around. <laughs> <And> we <laughs> are going to talk about. A couple years late to this one. We're we'll going to be right. categorizing drugs right. on the Misfits podcast. It's Quite only a selection fitting. there. It's a very wide variety. 
We've been using yeah. drugs as a crutch for content for years and nothing's changed. Mm -hmm. We're here to talk about the different kinds and place them on a fucking tier list. What's the, Let's go. Some funny guy on yeah, the, the DMT. What's the, the, what's the like drug with the ball? Nerds. One at a time, we boys. That. We can get to that later. I guess we should give some context. In case you, as a viewer, have, have, have never laid your eyes upon a tier list, uh, the concept is that things are rated from S to F, S being superb, and F being fucking awful. Mm. Um, so with this tier list, you basically go through everything, and then we're going to try our best uh, to fit them in. There's going to be a bit of debate. We might not think one drug is better than the other, or maybe even worse than the other. And then soon, I guess we could probably average it out amongst all of us and place it officially uh, on this list. And uh, now that you know what a tier list is, if you don't know what drugs are... <laughs> You're in for a treat. <laughs> You're in for a treat. He's They're like, awesome. He's Mind like, altering substances. It'll That's change right. your life. Mostly for worse, but sometimes for the better. They're, yeah, some of them are colorful. Some of them, uh, they're like little diamonds, you know? Some of them will kill you. There's some, a drug yeah. for everyone. Some of them are odorless, colorless, and very, very good. Some of them are tasty. Some of them are not so tasty. Some of them loosen up your some asshole. Some have a fine aroma. <laughs> some of them do loosen up Toby your asshole. really just fascinated by this loosen up the asshole thing. I just thing. found out about it this week. And How did I you it was... just find out about it this week? You are gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm not that kind of gay. <laughs> yeah, That's true. You're like a, you know, you're a yeah. gay. Yeah. You're not like a, a I see. Yeah. gay. Well. I have no need to loosen up my asshole. Well, I mean, if you want to be fun. Um, <laughs> all right. What drug should we do first? Well, let's, I guess, we, we could just go through the whole list. Let's to see start what's on the Let's board. start with what we got in front of us. Let's start yeah, yeah. with alcohol. So we have alcohol here. That's a common drug for a lot of people. All right. Like a very common yeah. drug. Worldwide usage. That's right. A lot of cunts use fuck, especially my mate Bruce. Mm -hmm. He loves it. Yeah. Um, oh, I think we met Bruce earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves that shit. So you're, really. you're Mason now. You're not... Cause you look very, you just look so similar. Oh, it's really? That, it's the hat, I think. I think it's the hat. Maybe? You're still wearing the hat. Uh. Anyway, alcohol has been used as a social lubricant for years. A uh, way to, mm. uh, you know. Not as a sexual lubricant how, though. No, I wouldn't recommend no, that. I mean, burn. you can put alcohol in your uh, asshole. Asshole, be it but butt it's, chug. It's not super recommended because it is, Increases your chances of overdosing and Very having to get your stomach pumped. Very dangerous. Well, Alcohol, actually, no, you can't even get your stomach pumped. You cannot That's get your stomach pumped. It'll go right from your lower intestine, straight into your bloodstream, and then boom. You can't filter fucking alcohol out of your blood unless mm -hmm. you want to pay a big hospital bill. I only uh, recommend it if you have liver problems. Then just... <laughs> <laughs> <some cap -game. laughs> you have liver problems and butt chug everything? Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't get processed by the liver. Yes, it does. Does it? Yeah. Shows what I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol is one of the few things on this list that is actually legal, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's any less fucked up than the rest of it. It wasn't always legal, though. Yeah, but it's legal now, and that's what matters. Yeah, I fucking alcohol, hate alcohol. Alcohol is arguably fucking worse for you than some of these other illegal substances. <laughs> yeah, they, so like, much worse. Was there some study that said, like, it's the worst drug based off, like, domestic violence and all that's that That's because it's legal. I think it's a lot of it's because it's legal. Like, if everyone was doing meth, then it would probably be a different story, you yeah. know? But only some people are doing meth. Yeah, if everyone did so meth, it'd be like World War Z. You ever seen World War Z? Oh, uh, hey, go to me, man! Oh, we'll, we'll, say, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go into them soon. Yeah. We'll okay, well, soon. what would you place it, Mason? Alcohol? I what? mean, Should... like, it's, uh, for one, you can't have sex on it. A lot of people can't. Oh, yeah, whiskey dick. Or whiskey yeah. dick. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, that's a big, big drop. That's big, a big, big drop. Time. But I wouldn't put it at F Hangovers or D. No, I wouldn't either. It's ironic that you can't have sex. On alcohol because a lot of people drink alcohol before having sex. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can, can, but like it's yeah. a fine line. You can, it. like yeah. you know, I've never suffered from from whiskey dick, and I think that's just because I don't get that hammered. Whenever I get drunk, whenever I'm drinking, I always stop I just at, fuck. at the point where like I take another shot and I don't feel myself getting any more drunk. Then I'm just on the waters, and then you know, whenever the night evolves and I have to take my little boy out of my pants. That was awful. You have a little boy. Yeah. In your pants. <laughs> a little boy that was awful. My in penis, your pants. my your big, penis. my big man, <laughs> okay. and, and, his, and his and his two and his so two little he's... friends. Oh. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so when I have to take my penis out for coitus, yeah. Uh, usually, it is a working order. Okay. I'm real glad we're stuck on this point. Okay, so should we should we all each individually say what letter we want? Oh, yeah. then go around. And, yeah, yeah. yeah like so that. let's start with Mason. What what would you put it at? I put it at B. You put it in a B? Yeah, like pretty high up there. Okay. Why? Ooh. I wouldn't put it below like the average what, meter. What are your pros and cons? Um, you become less stressful. You 
you let all your frustration and fucking, you know. Demons out he on your wife. his wife for sure. <laughs> 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 no, no. You mean like, I mean, you kind of just like release all your energy, you know. Uh -huh. Sure. It's, it's a period of time. All right, you should save that one for the courtroom, buddy. Is that? Is that? Yeah, yeah. you give me big. Fuck, man. Uh, no, the, the hoodie bounces it out. Okay, good. good. That's all right. I, I get it. B tier. Okay. Got, Matt, we, yeah. what about you? I'd say a high C tier. High C tier. Uh, there's no such thing as a high C. Yeah, you can I think put that's it, how it works, like, left right? right on the graph. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. true. So it's the I'd say it's the closest to C. Uh, it shows what I know. All right, Swagger. I would put it almost certainly at a C tier. It isn't something that you can take day after day. Unless you actually have um, an addiction, uh, which is another reason why I put it lower on the on the list because it has a potential for addiction. It ruins lives, right. ruins marriages. Oh, like uh, everything on this list? No, <laughs> not everything. But you know, not a what like. Mean? I, I mean, a a physical addiction. Anything can be mentally addictive. But I mean, this your body would crave alcohol to the point where it needs it to function. You can die from the hangovers have, from alcohol. Yeah, you it's have. Fucked. Yeah, you have a physical dependency on alcohol, I've which had... is why I would rate it so alcohol low. Alcohol can like. Alcohol can kill you a lot easier than yes. a lot of these True. drugs. High on calories. And, Alcohol and poisoning sucks, man. Yeah. Take it for someone who's had it. And yeah. uh, I rolled around like I was getting exorcisted. <laughs> Exercised? Yeah. Exercise. Is that what it's called? Yeah, okay. You yeah, rolled yeah, around yeah. exercising. Yeah. But, you know, with, with alcohol, I, you know, I wouldn't be able to drink it every day. I could barely even drink it, you know, once a month. Like, All right. Yeah. So what you about put you? It in C. I put it in the C tier. Yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing between B and C too. I might just put it in C just on a personal level because I could go without it, honestly. Like if, mm -hmm. if all the alcohol in the world disappeared, I, I wouldn't be like that sad about it. So I'm going to put it at C. As long as the yeah. rubbing alcohol stays. I'm going to put so. it in S tier because it distracts me from all my problems. Uh, <laughs> makes me feel a lot better about myself. Uh -huh. uh, cool. You know, if I'm ever uncomfortable, it makes me way more comfortable, mm. way less stressed out. You know, I feel comfortable. I feel like I can achieve anything when I'm on alcohol. Right. You know. Uh, and, and how many years have you been sober? Years. Yeah. <laughs> zero point zero yeah. zero zero Quite one. A few. <laughs> Toby doesn't drink alcohol. No, that, yeah. That's the yeah. joke. I don't. I don't drink making. alcohol. Uh, so, but I, I I see what it does for people. I think C's fair. Mm. Okay. Okay. We can C. average that out to a C. Boom. Alcohol is a C. Average. Average. An average an ass average drug. Average drug. But it's one that everyone uses, and there's no harm in using it. Only in moderation. And it has a rich history. Very rich history. And I'm drinking it right now, so who, you know, who's the judge? Who's the I judge? Can, I can agree C. C tier. All right. Let's okay. move on. Caffeine. Caffeine. Another thing that we consume. Everyone here kind of consumes caffeine, except for Matt, who quit it recently. Mm. Or, or the last few years or so. About a year ago, yeah. So what would you place it, Matt? Honestly, I'd probably rate it C. You rate it a C as well. Yeah. All right, so it's not it's not an F tier, but it's like you know it's, it's like, just average. It's not that good because like everything has like positives what if and negatives. To what if it, it's you know? gamer subs though? Well, <laughs> well, you know, we're not. Like, if we're, we all know if, they, if, if, if we were if we were ranking this off of gamer subs, it would be an unequivocal yeah, S tier. Exactly. But, but that's just under the circumstance of everything else. Yeah. Like the it, thing is, yeah. you know, you have to factor in coffee. You have to factor and in uh, like like shit. other other powder energy drinks that have lead in it. Like yeah. that, that garbage that you want to avoid. Gamer Stamps is the only one that you can really trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but All yeah. right. So, yeah. Look, caffeine, I think, is a pretty good. I mean, I drink a cup of coffee every day. I don't really yeah. feel too worse for wear. I, I, like, I like the way it gets me moving. Although, I did watch a clip on Joe Rogan's podcast recently about a guy who was like talking about how if you take it every other day, it might be more beneficial. Or if you use it on like more specific occasions, like once a week, yeah. then maybe it'll, it'll have like. A better relationship okay, with your body. Like, that's what I do. Because caffeine, you know, sometimes some, under certain circumstances, if I drink Mate, caffeine. you're scratching yourself just oh, talking about it. You're like, I don't have a problem <laughs> drinking it once in a while. I, I give you a <laughs> cup of coffee. No, like if I have it on an empty stomach, it might make me anxious. Sometimes it gives you the jitters. Sometimes you can have a lot of shit. But haven't sell. you seen that episode of Futurama where Fry goes really like quick and shit because he drinks heaps of caffeine? That's true. Is it's that good what, for sure. Is that what you're trying on. to do? To be like the flag? No, uh, no, nah, because nah, like I'd probably just have a heart attack and die. <laughs> So, <laughs> that sounds more realistic. You used to, Matt. You used to drink like uh, a, like a pitcher of coffee a day. Pretty much, yeah. You used to work as okay, a barista. Yeah. Once right? you work at Starbucks, they give you the free coffees, and that's how they keep you uh, working. You know, I see. Oh, he's, he's just got you hooked. Mm -hmm. He's just got Starbucks PTSD, and that's why Pretty he hates much. coffee so much. Um, but I, I honestly, I agree with C. Like, see, it's it, just for the pure reason that it's just like it's okay. Like, it's, not, it, it's not that it, remarkable. It kind of fits next to alcohol as well, considering they're the two mm -hmm. legal ones. For me. 
I rank it at, at, at an A or a B. Mm-hmm. I probably go more for a B, but I just think it is very useful. Like it has a potential for addiction, but I feel like the cons are relatively minor. As long as you're not smashing two, you know, two giant fucking live days in the morning and getting, you know, going to skits, mm-hmm. like, you know, it, it, moderation is always, but I think it's just a very useful tool. True. Maybe, maybe I'll change to a B, actually, now that you put it that way. Agreed. Also, like, I just, I just remembered how good a coffee shit is, and that might make you... That's true. true. Yeah. You, need to, if you ever need to evacuate your bowels in the morning after having a big night out, the best way to just push shit right out of your asshole is to drink a big cup of coffee or a gamer and substance. And rip a jewel on the and, toilet. You know, rip a jewel on the toilet. Yeah, fucking true. Set. I love the way you say things, Swagger Souls. Thank you. So, I, so did the, the reviewer. <laughs> well, they're talking about Toby. Come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I used to drink fuckloads of energy drinks. Yeah, you so, really <laughs> did. You used to you smash like lot. four mothers when we the, lived in yeah, this What's your relationship with caffeine now? Uh, I pr- probably have it once a week at the most. Really? To be honest, I have a game of subs on the podcast because it you know keeps me going. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, but... Generally, throughout the week, I, I don't really have any caffeine. Mm. You're so boring. That's so different. You used to drink an obscene amount of caffeine to the point where I was concerned. Yeah, I was oh, smoking yeah. weed with Toby and doing all this shit, and like now she's just boring. <laughs> Where's she gone? So man? boring. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I would, you know, I would have multiple energy drinks a day, uh, and now I just never have it, and I find that I never kind of want it anymore. I never really mm. need it. I only have caffeine when I'm like really tired and need to do something. Mm. Other than that, I never use it. And it's great for when I need it. Right. But when I, the rest of the time, I don't, you know, I just don't use it. I think the downside of caffeine though, is that I think like everybody has it pretty, like most people in the world and like first world countries and stuff, mm. they'll have caffeine. That's like the number one drug, I think. Yeah. And alcohol, right? They'll, they'll probably have caffeine mm. daily. Right. Mm. And I feel like because of that, People think it's like less of like a negative thing. Mm. I kind of feel like so many people have reliance on caffeine and don't really think about it as a reliance. Oh yeah, for sure. I think I might have spoken about this before on a previous episode, but while we're on the topic of caffeine, way back in like the, the like the, the the early millennia, the, the first one, the first like thousand years, or whatever. I remember getting the sign of history. Like I was really baked during this class. So if I if I if I if I, if I fuck it up. You know, but, but basically, it was in the Middle East, there was a part, I think it was Saudi Arabia or, or somewhere around there, where they had big coffee fields and they would, and they would create, you know, they made coffee there. And so they would all drink it. They'd have these coffee, these like essentially like coffee bars where everyone would go to to drink and then start their day and everything. And then, you know, it was when they were, you know, under, uh, you know, under Islam and, you know, they, they basically sanctioned, you know, it's said in the Quran at the time. No drugs. It, it said no drugs, substances. no substances enter your body. You need yeah. to keep it clean, be sober, etc. And so they banned coffee outright. And this led to like riots, like huge civil unrest to the point where like all the imams were like, yeah, no, everything but coffee. Like, yeah. you, you have your coffee. Yeah. That's, so that shows how much caffeine means to, that's means historic, to humans. That's a historic definition of the don't talk to me before I have my cup of coffee. That's, <laughs> exactly. That's like a manifestation of that. I can All agree right. with a B. So, Caffeine's B. B. We're putting the B. B. Wait, what would you, Let's move you on. It, Toby? I'd rate it C. All All right. Right. I'm fine with B. Yeah, we, I think we could average it out to a B. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd write let's, caffeine a let, bit let's do something a little more interesting, shall we? Let's talk acid. Acid. Right? Now, you guys may remember a while ago, all the misfits did acid, um, and we had a good time with it. Actually, Jay didn't do the acid, but he's not here, no. so fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at this table did acid together. We had a quite a nice, interesting evening. It's quite a fond memory of mine. But I've done acid since a couple of times, and I've had less good experiences with it. Yes. And uh, honestly, and I think that it varies from the tabs you get. I think the taps that I've got had in the last couple of years are probably just different or maybe it not helps, as pure. It or, helps to test as well. Yeah, maybe different ta- yeah, different kinds of acid, but... There's not different kinds. It's just either it's, either it's LSD mm. or it's some other chemical. kind of chemical that is trying to emulate yeah. it. You well, could get Dragonfly or 2CB. 
Like, she thinks she'll fuck you up. Well, maybe I've just never done acid then. I actually have no idea. But no, we definitely we did tested acid it the first time. Yeah. yeah, the first time it was probably. Did we, I don't know it. if it was the environment. <laughs> we did. We had a test yeah, kit. We did. We used a test kit. I don't know oh, if it was the yeah. environment we're in. Sure. Well, I thought someone tested like tested it themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mitchell was your test kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he didn't die, and he said it was awesome. I tested so. it, and it worked fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it was the environment we're in, but I feel like I've never laughed harder than I did. Oh, you were Oh, you loved it. It was. It that was. Magic. Yeah, that it, it was, felt like a magical night. Yeah, like really fucking was. Tinkerbell could have flown through the window, but let's just go Narnia cunt. Uh, and <laughs> Two then, different references, but I guess when you're on acid, it would work. <laughs> Either way, I mean, <laughs> let's say that first time was pure 100 percent acid, and let's base the experience off that. I well, it. I'm saying it one and done kind of thing, like yeah, 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 yeah. like. Acid, I respect as a drug because there's no potential for addiction. Uh, as soon as you take it. If you took the same amount the next day, the effects would essentially be halved. It's relatively safe um, as far as your uh, physiology goes. When you have it, your body will metabolize it in about uh, 8 to 12 hours, mm -hmm. completely be out of your system. No real health effects, however, uh, definitely risky if you have any history of mental illness, any latent uh, mental illness, uh, set stuff like setting, that. Set and setting, that. yeah. Yeah. I loved and hated it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had a bad experience on it, but I enjoyed it as I like. I could, I could <laughs> understand like why it was fun. Well, you talk, almost talk, fell down the steps. So talk talk <laughs> yeah. about your bad experience again and how that got triggered and how that began for you and what that was like. Well, I I think I kind of resisted it. Like I was I was into it at the beginning, and then I think I kind of like just wanted to chill. Mm -hmm. And you, it's like mm. I I think it was just not really something you want to chill on acid will not let you chill yeah so <laughs> yeah. i was trying to chill and i think because of that it made me like it was just like too much on my body mm. and then i just had a panic attack for ages right that's right and i was yeah. just like super anxious and stressed out on it and it was yeah. pro it was kind of like that way until you sort of peaked and then the come down was a little more relaxed yeah. Right? Yeah, and you were yeah. kind of able to find that chillness where you were just sort of letting it leave your system yeah yeah mm. yeah. yeah i've i've taken I've, it four times yeah, I've probably done like four or five times as well. I have had one experience that was similar. It wasn't so much a panic attack. It was more just like, I wish I was on acid right now. Like I was just by, by myself and I was just like a few hours into the trip and I just realized like, I would just rather be sober. Like, I don't know if I'm having a good time. And then that's enough to set you off and be like, no, I'm not having a good time. I'm just going to be yeah. not having a good time for the next 10 hours. It sucks. And then yeah. you know, eventually I was able to get out of that. But that's sort of how bad trips begin. Not in, in an intense way, just in a way that's like, ugh. My mind is racing and I can't stop it and this sucks. Yeah, Sometimes you just gotta like if you try and resist it at all, you're probably not gonna have a good time. And yeah, it, you just and gotta it, go with the flow. Man. It would also depend on your dose. When we were at MEO, uh, which is, you know, the, the time period that we took acid for the first time, yeah. that would have been on half a tab. Yeah. So give or take fifty to seventy five micrograms of mm -hmm. uh, of acid, yeah. which is pretty, you know, as far as it goes, that's below a common dose. But whatever was on that fucking tab, which that was, was definitely strong. acid. I'd was, say that was, it was, it was like 75. That, that was, was very, very strong Yeah, uh, for half a tab. Mm. It, imagine if we did full tabs. It was oh. 125. It was 125 per tab? Per tab? Yeah. Yeah, oh, so, yeah, so it would be about, yeah, 75 or 65. I'm <laughs> bad at math. Acid fucked me. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I've had good and bad experiences on it. I've had... Um, the first time I've ever done acid was fucking magic. I felt like a kid, like I was with all my friends. That we was smoking cigs. Definitely what it felt like. Like, mm. what, and, and at the I start when that. I was enjoying it, mm -hmm. it just felt like I, I. Every time I've described it, I've said it. It felt like all the misfits were just a bunch of toddlers yeah. running around a house. You get like, everything was just like so yeah. new to you. Very like, childlike. Oh. You're looking at shit. Um, Remember, Bucks was there for it. He That's was, true. Bucks he was, was there. he was in the bathroom and he was taking his shit and he and he was in there for like fifteen minutes and then he came out and he guy and he and he goes, guys, you need to see this. And so one at a time, he took everybody and brought them into the bathroom and, and they were like, what? What are we looking at? They're like, look at the floor. <laughs> look at the floor. <laughs> looking at the floor. And so you know, some of us had visuals and others didn't, mm. which is another thing. Acid can be pretty inconsistent. Mm. Uh, with, with the effects, um, yeah. acid acid isn't something to fuck around with though. It's not something that you take because you're like, I want to I want to get fucked up. It's something you take. Some you people know. do that though. Yeah, but it's really. I mean, you can take it if you just want to have a trip. Like, yeah, I wouldn't. This is like getting fucked up is 
I don't know if anyone really goes and... I mean, some people do. Well, I, I mean, people like, like, people take acid and then go clubbing and shit, right? Dude, yeah, fucking yeah. I wouldn't recommend that. I think people do. Yeah, no, that was the whole acid house movement, man. People just taking tabs and just fucking spazzing out to... Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which could be cool if you're into that. If, you just, if, you're, if you're into that, then that'll be fun ass, but... Mm. Uh, personally, I probably wouldn't enjoy that. I would, I would probably. I mean, you know, if it's really good, it's really good. But if you have a complicated trip, and because I've had a panic attack on acid, and let me tell you, I felt like I was dying, <laughs> and I felt like I was dying for four or five hours, and it fucked me up for like two weeks after. All I could think about was the trip, mm. and then it's weird because it fucking plays games with your mind. Um, cause I was reflecting on the trip, like what exactly happened to where I freaked the fuck out. And, you know, after two weeks of contemplating over it, I was like, oh, literally nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. I just got spooked. Visuals were too high, but that would probably be a consequence of me taking Being a, a massive dab rip <laughs> and a massive dab. So oh, you did a dab as well. Yeah, if you're taking oh, yeah, acid yeah. and you're on your peak, or even if you're on your come down, I would not recommend you take uh, THC concentrate. If you're going to smoke weed, as people do when they're on acid to enhance their experience... Um, I would take it on the come down and I, it would only be green. Unless you're really acclimatized to like dabs. Well, sure, I guess. It, yeah. It's just, be and careful. I mean, oh, it makes the visuals way more so, fucked. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't use, know, like, it depends on the caution. person. But like, if you're not a big weed smoker and doing a dab is going to absolutely fuck you up, probably. I would put it at a B. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it at an A, honestly. Uh, not a, honestly, even just for like the pure historical factor of the way that it fucking impacted culture back in I the I feel like in hindsight of all these other ones, it just... might fit in an A as well. Yeah. I, I think, I feel like it's an A. I might put it's, it S too, just because all... like psychedelics mm. are just that little bit above other drugs. Yeah, and I reckon there could be other stuff that could go in A tier. Yeah, yeah, there's one psychedelic that I think belongs in an S over the acid. But I, I agree. Like it could be either or. I'm happy. It's a good drug. Okay. Happy. I will happily switch to an A. All right, A. <laughs> we're putting it in A. Deal. Put well, it in no A because it has some bad sides, so it's not perfect. Yeah. it's not perfect. No, but uh, from our experience, overall, it's an A. I would rank it an A. All right, let's put it in an A. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. What else? Someone else pick a drug from the big list of Toby. <laughs> do you have any to catch your eye? Nicotine. Nicotine, oh, yeah. baby. Nicotine. Oh shit. Interesting drug. Curious little devil. Oh, often packaged in the form of a cigarette, which Mason hates and. Man, Sometimes just, goes back to smoking. Yeah, got a couple of you, mate. There's a fucking he likes a good cigarette, front, which yeah. you know a lot of people tend to fall into. A lot of uh, Toby vapes, Swagger vapes. Myself and Matt don't really. Starts vape. with I, a cigarette at the club, then next minute you're fucking down at the Seven Eleven buying a full deck, and then uh, yeah. it's all downhill from there. Nicotine's an interesting drug that I always stayed away from until I started kind of going out and partying more, and then I sort of started sucking on a vape socially or occasionally even a cigarette. But I never really like the cigarettes when I try them. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. It gives you a little head spin, but I, I really couldn't imagine doing it every day because it kind of just seems like it would. When you do it every day, people, there's no more head spin and then yeah. there's no more fun. And, and it's, then just it's just the feeling thing. like shit until you get it. And you don't feel normal until you hit your vape. Yeah. And, you know, with cigarettes and vapes, cigarettes, if we're going to constitute them as, as, as two things, cigarettes, they'd put it the absolute fucking F tier. It's fucking yeah. garbage. They taste like shit. They smell like shit. The, terrible for your health. Horrible for your health. Carcinogens. <laughs> That's an example. Apparently, yes. it's, it's honestly probably one of the hardest things to quit on yes. this list. Well, I feel like cigarettes. more people use like jewels and vapes nowadays and cigarettes. Yes. You know? mm. So nicotine, if we're going to factor it in as a drug. It's like nicotine itself. Nicotine itself. I feel like the best and quote unquote healthiest way to consume it would be through vapes. Um, yeah, well, there's not, probably some effects that will come no, out. There certainly yes, is. Yeah. There, it's you know, yeah, it's not a it's squeaky clean by any means. It's not a consequence free method of delivering nicotine. However, it is you know, it is a way better alternative than cigarettes because mm. you're not combusting paper and plant matter and inhaling that. Mm. You're inhaling. Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, propylene glycol. Propylene glycol. Oh, and that like a lot of vegetable like, glycerin. Vegetable like glycerin. line your lungs with shit, as well. So. Yeah, but the thing is, although it might line your lungs, it would be mining, lining your lungs with something that can easily be coughed out as opposed to something that uh, creates tar. tar. Yeah. Mm. Uh, which is something that you don't want in your lungs. So I've got plenty of that. Nicotine itself as a chemical, apparently extremely, extremely similar to caffeine in the way that it activates uh, uh, the parts of your brain. 
Mm. Um, as far as it goes, I, from the addiction alone, then it gives you the, the intense addiction and, and, and lack of ability to quit. Um, big money sink, it's expensive, it's, you know, not the best. <laughs> I, I would put it at a solid D tier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd probably chuck it D as well. I mean, I, I enjoy it on a very casual basis, maybe like once, a couple times a month. And it's fire when you do it like that because you just get a good head spin. When you're fucked up, it's like, whoa, I've just added something else into the mix. This is sick. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, like, I never ever will. I, I'm like, I want to buy a vape because I just know that, well, from my experience seeing everyone else around me get addicted to nicotine, it's just, why would no, I do it's that? It's not appealing. Not appealing at all. Um, it's a bit of fun, but definitely not something you want to be make a consistent part of your life unless you're into that, in which case I don't judge, but also like, <laughs> fucking don't do it probably not Long ideal story, a, probably not ideal a boss do something else i'm kind of yeah. biased with nicotine because i don't really get withdrawals from it as much like I'll, if like right after i stop having one like if if i run out of vape juice for like a week or something i'll be like oh yeah i you know i, I could go for a vape hit right now but I, like i don't get anything that bad from it but i've seen other people you know go through pretty unpleasant withdrawals with it so, so what is it that you like about it? Do you like the head spin or is it more of an oral fixation taste a, thing? I don't give a shit about the head spin. I like the the oral fixation and I also like the feeling in my throat. Um, wow. <laughs> super sexually charged that is. <laughs> There's just something about the feeling like in the back of your throat that I really like. Right. But also, I mean, like, I don't know. I kind of find that it's like nice for, for like helping you focus. Really? And what well, I mean, stimulants, like a lot thing. of, yeah. Um, a lot of surgeons, uh, I don't know if it's still a thing, but a lot of surgeons used to uh, pick up smoking because they would. It's a very stressful a, job. <laughs> they would smoke a cigarette yeah, before probably. before surgery, and it would make them like calmer and more focused. Probably because they got a habit of smoking cigarettes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, like nicotine itself, uh, it, there are like some like benefits to it. There are obviously some cons to it, and when you uh, take it away from like all the shit that's in tobacco. It's like the actual substance of nicotine. I've read that it's not actually that bad for you. It's just obviously when you mix it with the other shit that it starts mm. being bad. And obviously you do get withdrawals from it mm. and stuff. I but, think we're all pretty calm. You put it in D, no? Mm, yeah. Actually, I think you guys rate it a little too low. Like, I don't think it's worse than alcohol. Like, you can smoke I don't think it's worse than every day, either. and it's not as bad as alcohol. I, I, I think, think it'd be somewhere between caffeine and alcohol. See, I actually think it, it is deserving to be below alcohol because it's less useful and it's also less fun. No. It's less useful and less fun. And I, I think alcohol is definitely like more damaging like to society. Well, maybe, but then well, also think cigarettes. Alcohol, yeah, also like with the other people around you. Nicotine, you can't just in your own head. Yeah. Like, well, and uh, alcohol for the social aspect, uh, that's why it's at a C and not a fucking D for me. Yeah. yeah but you know? Although people I don't think, do smoke Look at some of the other drugs on this socially. list. Like, I don't think it belongs in D. Like, I, I think, think there'll I, be other, other drugs in D. It, it, I see your point. I think yeah, maybe you're right. I think if you're saying cigarettes, then sure, D, but oh, yeah, I think yeah. nicotine itself doesn't deserve to be below alcohol. Yeah. I'll settle for a C. I'll, I'll chuck it in there with alcohol. I think know? C above uh, alcohol. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I'd put it a little bit above alcohol. All right. Curious. Curious. Personally. You guys okay with that? Yeah. I think it's going to take me a while to live with it, yeah. but yeah. I'll move on. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'll that's move fair. on. What are we moving on to next? Uh, what are, Mason, you pick a drug. Come on, it's like a fun uh, little game. Pick a drug. Pick a drug. Go... Any drug. What's crocodile? Oh, that's <laughs> an interesting oh, one. Dude. Crocodile's lit. It makes your your flesh start eating itself. Do you just eat crocodile? Is that what? No. You, uh, <laughs> no. you get is that a what massive the Florida high? man takes. Local you just get like you just get like the embodiment of Steve Irwin. See, I think I, it's like yeah. heroin. It's essentially it's like heroin. scuffed heroin. Oh really? It's, it's, it's synthetic heroin. heroin. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Mitchell knows a little bit about it. If he wants to turn his mic on, I don't know if it's working, but. I, I did watch a documentary about a bunch of Russians living in apartments, just addicted to fucking crocodile, and it was. Is this not, a bit? No, oh, no, this is not. No, a bit. It's, yeah. a, it's a very real it's thing. It's a very real thing, and it's one of the like nastiest drugs apparently. But oh, yeah. I don't know that much about yeah, it. It's a so semi-synthetic opioid. Mm. Oh. To put it into context, when I googled crocodile to find a picture of the drug, all I could find was pictures of people with their flesh rotting off like yeah. zombies. Oh, I think is that part of why it gets its name because it kind of makes people scaly yeah, it makes and you skin black. Like scaly and black. Yeah. 
So it's it's a nasty little devil. I've never tried it. I don't plan on trying it. And I've heard nothing but bad Scaly things. Scaly skin just sounds like an F tier to me. It sounds like an F tier. Yeah. F tier. All them F tier. It would be yeah. an F tier. Yeah, you know, like maybe if you really need to relax, take some crocodile. But other than that, <laughs> I don't see any you kind know, of If you're about to be eaten by a crocodile it. and you're trying to relax and accept your death, then take some. If you're on your deathbed and you're just going through them all, that's probably the only time that you'd ever take crocodile. I and think we can all agree cro crocodile's an F tier. And I don't right. think we need to talk about it more because we don't really know anything about it. True. Yeah. I actually have a short essay prepared. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Bring it out. Now, let's move on. Uh, Toby, pick a drug. Uh, codeine. 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 Another one I've never done. I don't, know, I don't think anyone here has done codeine. Nope. Uh, because codeine. we're smart. Codeine is, uh, well, it's, it's lean, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's lean. It's, 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 cough, it's cough syrup. Right? It's opioids yeah. light, pretty much. It is, it is a, an opioid, if I recall correctly. So people don't judge you at a party like, oh, he's just drinking lean and that shit. He's not going to be like, mm. oh, he's fucking taking heroin, you know? Right. But it's like, it's heroin light, -like, pretty much. I see. It's so incredibly it's a, addictive. It, it's a depressant. It's fucking. It fucks just, up your motor skills, degrades your body, degrades your mind. Yeah, um, I don't know too much about it either. I mean, I I know <laughs> I've heard about it through hip hop. <laughs> it's about all I know, <laughs> uh, honestly. Yep. And they don't really have any inclination to try it. Very addictive. Uh, will ruin your life. Yeah. Well, mm. I don't. Yeah. Sure. I say D tier. Yeah, that's what I was. Gonna it's say. Like, I'd say it's like it's an you say F tier. Too, yeah. Like you think it's as bad as crocodile? I, I think F tier is bad, like, but. I, I think we should. It's like slightly we need to have something in D, and I know? think I feel like coding probably belongs yeah. in D. Yeah, you, know? oh, I you can, can have I it at a party and D. be like, "Oh, he's got coding," but you're not going to be like, "Oh my god, he's doing coding." It's I've heard. Like I've heard that when you mix right. it with Sprite, it's very tasty. So it's D. <laughs> <laughs> D for Don't delicious. Do coding. Don't do coding. <laughs> All right, yeah. so I like they needed you to tell them that. All right, let's go. Don't take this drug. Let, let's let's move on, man. I'm going to pick one. Let's go Nangs. Nangs is a fun little cheeky devil. Nangs is also really bad for your brain. Uh, it's not mm. good. I've done Nangs before. I've seen you what, is, what is Nangs? It's like nitrous, right? Yeah, uh, Americans call it whippets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so nitrous oxide. It's nitrous. You can, the, a common but, method like, of doing. Can we tell that story real quick? Uh, which one? The, oh, the one, one where I did it with you? Where I threw them. <laughs> yeah, we. Well, you, you, you explain. Yeah, so you pretty much, we this. tried them. We experimented them with like one time, and fucking, we did them, and like pretty much summarize it right after. I was like, nah, this drug shit. <laughs> threw about five hundred nangs out. Yeah, yeah. he bought five hundred canisters of nangs. Why did you buy so many? See, because the, thing... the Nang King only did that deal, bro. <laughs> In Australia, nangs are actually very common. Unfortunately, you could uh, like any IGA; they'll have them there. It's not only that, there's fuck. actually guys that kind of just run all night delivery services out of their cars does this have a bunch of nangs in the back and you, you see can, them fucking on the streets on the sunday morning it's not even that like you just like know who they are like there's uh mr whippy there's and you just boy. like maybe just text this guy and within three hours he was at the crib fucking giving his nangs and uh yeah like they're they're uh very scary they're scary to watch people do does it only last like, like 15 seconds it lasts probably like a solid minute because like i was sitting there watching i think it was who was there it was you mason and was it was it matt I was there too, yeah. yeah it was it was so it was you three um <laughs> you were all on the floor you had blankets and pillows under your heads um you you guy like the little whippet thing I uh, cranked the the canister into it, and then you you put it into a balloon, mm -hmm. and then so I was under the impression because I've never done nangs and I've never seen anyone do nangs. Um, I was under the impression that you put it into the balloon, you give it a minute to like not be freezing cold, and then you huff the entire thing and hold it in, and then you exhale. Apparently, it's not how you do it. That's how you can it goes south. Well, apparently you go, you, you breathe it in and then you push it back out into the same balloon and then you breathe that in and then you do that over and over until you're essentially hyperventilating and then you get all, things get all weird and trippy. But let, let me explain it because Swagger actually hasn't done nangs. I, I tried, but was too afraid. Yeah. I uh, value my brain cells. Totally fair. I, I would oh, I look like nangs. I, I honestly don't recommend that anyone does them because they are just not good for your brain. I'd throw them an F. But that being said, I, I don't regret the couple of times that I've tried him. But also, I'm very ha comfortable it's not really... It's on the line with coding. Like, I'm not doing them I again. See it. Listen, I don't know. Like, you'd probably you'd do it, there's, but like, it's just like, yeah. why? Look, you know? there, are, there are many ways to do things, but like the Australian method that I was taught the first time I yeah. did them is you fill up a balloon, and then you just suck in, and you breathe out into it, so it expands again, and you breathe in, and you breathe out, so and you breathe just, in, until there's nothing left in the balloon. You're just yeah. suffocating so you're just, yourself. Yeah, you're yeah. hyperventilating. Not, not, it's like, it doesn't feel like hyperventilating. Yeah. This feels like you're sucking in and blowing up a 
balloon again and you're just making sure that all of it gets into your system some people just sip on it but to me like yeah, th that's the way i tried it because like to me that just doesn't that's not gonna do like the, the whole point of the thing the whole point is that you're gonna fucking it's really weird man like when the balloon is fully deflated when it's all in you your audio becomes so tinny yeah your oh, vision starts blacking out like... it becomes like your, my vision kind of became like cubed like pixelated kind of like when you like stand up too fast and you get like that weird... kind of yeah, but, but oh, way different it, it's it just like you just like focus in on this one pixel in the middle and there's like black there's black like spots everywhere and you just zone in the audio is crazy if you listen to music like the audio gets really weird and cool mm. and mm. then like you kind of will like feel very relaxed and fall back and you go you'll start saying you're like whoa and your voice sounds like, insane I don't know. It's like yeah, it's a it's, really it's, weird it's, little trip. I think like it, it feels like a brief psychedelic trip. It sounds like all the symptoms of nearly passing out. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I, I don't guess, like the noise that it makes. I hate it. That's yeah, what turns I away. Can, from I can me. tell you were spooked after you did it because you were like, "Okay, we're throwing them all out." You literally took the entire. It was a buy. It was a crate. It was a crate of nangs, and you fucking you opened up the trash can. And you fucking poured them all yeah. in. I mean, thank God, honestly, because there's no one needs to have that many nangs. No, but. Uh, I'd still give I, it I a like day. the audio I'd still thing. Give it a get it's weird day. because it almost sounds like audio is speeding up as well. True, yeah. It's like di 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 sometimes it gets it's, too loud when you do it. It's super trippy, man. And uh, look, I don't regret. I don't regret trying it because now I have that experience locked away, and it's kind of cool. But Tame Apollo made a really good song called Nang, so I think maybe <laughs> I could bump bump it up from an F to a D. That's I don't true. think it needs to be an F. I, I, I think D. D. I like, thought an F. I I would put it at D. What I, I heard I, is like nitrous, like nitrous itself isn't even that dangerous. No, like they use it for like dental surgery. Yes, and shit. Like, but yeah. the thing is, you I know, feel like it's the hyperventilating is like the part that fucks it. Yeah, like if yeah. I just had a little tube that like I could suck on and it'd be pure yeah. nitrous, like I would do that because that's just laughing gas. You had a little laughing gas party like it's the fucking seventeen hundreds. <laughs> but you know, as for hyperventilating until I pass out, I I I remember when I was nine years old, nine or nine or ten, I had this oh friend. God, I had this friend, uh, we were out in my backyard behind my fence with another one of my friends, um, and they were doing something called the California Rush. Oh. So it would be like you spin around a bunch. And then um, someone punches you in the stomach? No, you, you blow on, on your thumb or, or something like that, and then they yeah, pass like out, this, and then... Yeah. And then they'd get, you know, he'd drive to the ground and then like he'd start convulsing and then he'd get up and be like, that was awesome. Yeah. And then they, and like then they were killing brain cells yeah. to high. And, and then they oh, wanted oh. to step it up. They wanted <laughs> to step it up a little because apparently that wasn't enough for them. Uh, so they had, <laughs> he had my friend um, push him up against the tree and lean with his hands like this on his heart um, to the oh. point where like he just, went like that and he just fucking collapsed and he was out for a solid three minutes and i was like freaking out and my my other friend's like no he's fine he's fine he's fucking shaking on the ground oh, the so right. i think that's why i uh, i'm kind of i'm kind of turned off by by nangs because i'm some cool friends man that's sick. they were i, they I knew were, people yeah. in school that did that but instead of uh blowing in their thumb they would punch you in the stomach Wow. You spin around in circles, breathe out your air, and then they punch you in the stomach to get the rest out. And Sounds then you like pass a UFC out. training session. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an epic story. Yeah, it's it's not recommended, man. It's, it's not a D tier. Not D tier. D tier. D tier drug. Uh, Swag a pick one. one of those ones that will give you buzz. Well, it's not worth it. One. Yeah, you, you pick All a drug. All right. Okay. Let's let's get the one that everybody knows and wants All out right. of the way. Salvia. We're gonna go with weed, baby. Oh, weed. Yeah, weed. Marijuana. Weed. S. <laughs> S <-tier. laughs> uh, yeah, like, honestly, it's one of the less harmful drugs on this list. Probably, yeah, I mean... This is not counting edibles. Edibles are completely different. Right, I mean, yeah. That's it's still, still weed. It's still classified as weed. Yeah, yeah, but it's different. It's different kind of drugs. Because like, yeah. you're not getting high on THC, you're getting high on 11 hydroxy metabolite. Mm. Say that again real fast. 11 hydroxy metabolite. <laughs> Right, it's got these speeches it sounds funny. Why weed's okay. That's what the wind nang sounds like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I definitely don't think it should be S tier. I agree. I, I think people become pretty reliant on weed. Yeah. I think that's just if you do it all the time. Yeah, know, people do. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think that it's like, it's not physically addictive. It's just if you like weed, you know, and you have a lot of weed, then you're probably going to smoke a lot of well, weed. Yeah, but, well, this, this could be a good mess. Anyways. I've had a lot of issues with weed. But yeah. like yeah. one thing that I... Don't believe people tried to tell me like psychiatrists and stuff that I was addicted, but I don't think I was addicted. No, to there's weed. a very big difference between and an addiction a and a reliance. Yeah. Like physical yes. and mental addiction. It might not be yes. like 
physical withdrawals like stimulants would have, but you can still be like mentally addicted there, to There it. are people right. that feel like they need weed to get through the day and they don't necessarily, like their body isn't telling them that necessarily, but they feel like they can't, they don't function that, how that, they like. That could literally be said for any of these drugs. Yeah, I, mean, I don't saying, think there's anyone who's like, I need nangs to get through the day. So like take that with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. But like same could be said for caffeine, same could be said for alcohol, same could be said for nicotine. I think that's but just caffeine like- Caffeine and alcohol are like physically- Those, those people are yeah. like, they- have other problems that make them say that you yeah. know it's mm. not the weed like i i smoke i've smoked weed every day for a, a little while but i genuinely believe that's just because i like weed a lot and i like ending the day with a bong or two you know i enjoy the way it makes music sound i enjoy the way it makes food taste i enjoy the way it makes me relaxed mm. you know it makes it, it i it, like it it helped me with motivation believe it or not um i would smoke a bong and be like look at my house and be like it's filthy and I would spend the next two hours like cleaning everything up and then I yeah. feel really, really good. And it just makes everything a little bit more enjoyable when I'm high. Now, yeah. people can get, you know, the, the most common way that I've seen somebody get quote unquote addicted to weed is when they mix their bongs or their joints with tobacco and they don't smoke oh. nicotine. Because um, when you do that, they're, they're smoking and getting the head spin and then, you know, their body is like, Mm. Oh, nicotine, this shit is great. You, you, you get, you know, get, get some more. And mm. so they'll associate their uh, addiction to nicotine with marijuana. Yeah, that's kind of what got you a little bit, Amos, was the, the backy bonks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, a, you know, a it, lot of people. It sent me into a bad state. Like, yeah. when I'd smoke green on its own, it'd be fine. But the bong, like the backy would just make me be like, fuck, head spin. And then I start thinking heaps. And, yeah. yeah. And I meant more that, like, the backy bong makes you want to have more. Because oh, you, like, yeah, you the want the nicotine too. hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah depending yeah. on the nicotine and the weeds. Kind Some of people just, that's a lot of, that's like an Australian culture. Oh, much it really to is. Have, have nicotine with your fucking weed. That's yeah, right. when like, I, in the stage growing up, happened. never had weed by itself until I hung out with you guys. Every time I oh. had weed when I was growing up, it was yeah. with tobacco. Growing oh, up, I've in, never had weed with, that, with, with tobacco. Wasn't it was it also always that weed. way in Europe? Like, in Europe, yeah. like the spliffs and shit. Yeah, in, in the Netherlands, we went to uh, Rotterdam. Uh, we go into these uh, into the coffee stores uh, to, to buy joints, and they would all come with tobacco. They all had tobacco in them. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a cultural thing. But like, I grew up, I grew up. I I started smoking weed, um, completely on its own, just as green. Uh, just as green. It, it tastes like rubber, burnt rubber. It was fucking garbage, but got me pretty high and i didn't have to deal with the whole tobacco thing let's talk negatives because mason brought up anxiety weed is oh, definitely yeah. at least when you're first becoming acclimatized to it and that could take like a year or two anxiety is definitely something anxiety that you paranoia to, paranoia um yeah just overthinking in general like, munchies uh in a, you know it'll disrupt your appetite it can be overwhelming like it, lazy. it can be really overwhelming especially if you smoke mm. some good fucking weed and you're not acclimatized yeah. to it like i've i've greened out from weed before at a restaurant i've told that story in the podcast like it's yeah. it's definitely uh it can be really intense it's like i feel like it's like similar to alcohol but opposite where alcohol mm. will like fuck you up physically so you have a hangover you're like okay i don't want to do this anymore mm. but weed is like it doesn't fuck you up physically, but it fucks you up mentally. It's like a mental fuck. Yeah, so like it's much mm. harder to be like your body's not going to tell you, yo, bro, you need to stop this. I'm fucking sick. So you just keep smoking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially if you're prone to anxiety. And you can green out and vomit everywhere on that, but you can do that oh, with yeah. everything yeah, else yeah, on that too. That's true. You know, yeah, like, I actually changed my mind. When I looked at the rest of the drugs, I was like, if weed is an S10, nothing's going to be S10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, like I genuinely think that weed I might think... be the best. Or No, I, honestly, I'd put shrooms in S tier. For sure, just spoiler I'd put... alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd put weed. I'd put weed... I'm putting that motherfucking shit in S tier. Fuck anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> Fuck you all. I'd say Weez actually C tier. I think you guys rate it way okay. too high. Oh man. Because everyone likes to compare like when they're trying to promote That's weed as being drop, okay. Bro. They're like, oh, Weez, it's the same as alcohol, bro. You know? Who says no, that? No, I, when they're trying to make it like legal and shit. Like, no, it's no I, different than alcohol. I, I, I no, think, they, if anything, they say it's way better way than alcohol. Better than alcohol. If anything, they say that alcohol is way no, worse for no everyone in like, society than I'd say no <laughs> different in the sense of like, oh, you come home after work, you want to have a beer or you want to have a joint or yeah, something like that. The, just like, relax. I feel like hmm. the difference lies with like, you know, guy goes home to his wife after a really bad day at work. He drinks a whole bottle and of, beats the of, shit out of, of shit, and then he, you know, he, he might take it out on his wife, you know, fucking two in a casserole, of, you know. Yeah, but, but who comes home? Who comes home and has a whole ass edible? No, you know, no, no one drinks a whole ass bottle. I'll tell different. you who that play is. <laughs> but you know, imagine the same guy goes on oh, bad day to, day to work, like you know, he's already riled up. He's, I'm gonna have a bong, honey. Has a bong, 
And then he goes, hey, do you have a conversation about our relationship? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah but a bong know. isn't the same as having a whole bottle of alcohol. Well, That'd know, be like having a whole yeah, edible. But, you know, then sure. it's well, just if, the, if the we difference. Get, if we get lost in the comparisons, we're yeah. just never going to get anywhere. We should yeah, just rate true. these on how we're feeling about them and at the time. Look, you clearly some disagreements. I'd be happy to place it in A because I admit there are downsides yeah. to weed and it's not for everyone for sure. I'd say C. Oh, in my sure. personal list, it's going in S. But in my personal list, I would put it in S. I think overall, it's going in S for me as well. I'd say S. What? Sorry, Matt. I'm afraid that you are. Just a bitch. Uh, <laughs> no, we'll put it in an A though. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll put, put it in an A we'll because an average there are people who disagree. I don't it's think not weed's above acid by any means. Really? Yeah, I, reckon no it, way. I reckon it is. Yeah, but, because I, you can smoke weed every day, I but you do at, acid every I day. I look at the rest of it. means better. I don't know. I think, I it, take I think MD kind of like once every few months. I look at the rest of all of these and I can't picture any of them going in as. Shrooms. Anyway. Okay, weed and Put it in Fine. Fine. We'll pull it in S. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, all right, all right, Matt. Since you're unhappy about that, you choose the next drug. Uh, let's do uh, salvia. Salvia. Good old, good old cartoon drugs. Salvia divinorum. The uncle everybody. of Wade. No, <laughs> the, 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 the retarded little cousin. Of <laughs> me. Acid, pretty much. That's yeah. like the sal salvia. The best comparison I heard is like how cartoons depict drugs. Mm. You know, it's like yeah. they're like, whoa, this shit looks great. That's the shit you see on salvia. Salvia. Interesting. None of us have done it. No. So none of us can truly say. Salvia, I've known, I've, I've known people, I've seen like four or five people uh, back in college fucking do salvia in front of me. Horrifying to watch. Um, but the weird shit with salvia, it's uh, salvia divinorum is a plant and it has this mechanism of working psychoactively um, that is apparently unique from every other known mechanism. So they're doing like study after study about it. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's weird. It's like you smoke it and then you just have this completely out of body, like you're not even yourself somewhere else. Um, I've heard trip after trip. One of my friends, um, was in, she was lying in, 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 a, in a, another friend's bed to take the salvia. Cause you know, when you take salvia, you lose your balance. You might fall over, hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. So she was in bed. She smoked the salvia out of a bong wouldn't recommend and then she uh, she held it in and all that shit and then she was out for like it would have been like five ten minutes and then when she came to she was shaking horrified and everyone was like what well, happened you're okay you're safe you're fine she was just freaking out and then when she finally like collected herself and then we were like what was your trip what, what did you say she's like fucking like looking at her palms just like looking at her hands she's like you know because she's back in reality she said she was a house she was a house in a red and yellow universe on a conveyor belt and the conveyor belt was leading to a massive void and all the houses in front of her were being dropped into this void and she couldn't move she was a house and so she was trying to scream but she didn't have a mouth because she was a house and trying to move and all that shit and then she eventually went into this void and if she said she felt like she was in this in this darkness with just her thoughts for like like a hundred years. It was like an incredible amount Whoa. of time. And then she like, Long then gone. she came to, and we were like, oh, it's only been five minutes. So you're okay. <laughs> very curious. Yeah. I've known other uh, people. It's very intense to have a lifetime experience shit, packed into a five minute. It sounds like a fucking bad moment. nightmare dream combined with an acid trip. Yeah, I think uh, we just, it's so unpredictable. I think we that. drop it. I think we put it opposite to Wade. Yeah, uh, I reckon think, yeah, I think yeah. You, look, oh, like it, I mean, like actually, no good I, I, don't like, I, I don't know, I don't know dude, because internet common etiquette takes salvia all the time, and and, and he's like a him. legend, <laughs> and, and, and and you know, I, I've seen I've seen driving on salvia, which is very good because he smoked a. Oh, gardening on salvia? Gardening, that, gardening that's a salvia, good one. Because you know, <laughs> here's, here's the, the joke, Mason, the joke here is like, um, he's sitting in his car in the driver's seat, and he goes, okay, look, we have our salvia. This video's like 11 years old now. He's like, I have I have a bong with salvia, and we're going to see, I'm going to teach you guys how to drive on salvia. And so he, he rips his bong, and uh, <laughs> he puts it down, he waits like five, ten seconds, and he goes, okay, so the first thing you want to do is take your key and put it in the... And he's just fucking with the ignition. He's like, doesn't know what he's doing. Then he's pretty much just slumped over. He's just passed out. He can't drive the car. It's the same thing with gardening. With gardening, he's just like, you know, I'm going to take salvia and I'm going to plant this, you know, I'm going to I'm going to pot this plant, put it in the ground. And he takes it and then he just puts everything down and he just lies down. He knew like, he couldn't garden or well, drive on compared salvia. compared to the other shit, maybe not an F. Look, but I, 
I uh, D tier. Look, we don't we don't know. That's the problem with these this, this yeah. exercise. Yeah. We actually don't know what it's like. So I almost feel I say uh, F tier because I, you get nothing good out of it. I, you I, might get something. You might get a fun time. It's a bit of a, it's like, a, bit it's of a like I open like, like a green on a roulette table. Too, yeah. you like a, too it, much of a gamble for me to even want to take it because I don't want to have one of those trips where like, oh, I'm a little grasshopper chilling in a lawn. Oh, there's a lawnmower. Oh, I'm getting cut up and eviscerated. And yeah. oh, wait, I'm a grasshopper again. And they yeah. have that repeated over and over Fucking and over. That, you'll you'll that think differently epic. when the world is aflame in 20 years and your only escape is selfie. Okay, buddy. All right. If that happens, that's salvation. Salvation, uh, salvation. You'll find salvation through Salvia. I 100% intend on doing Salvia at some point in my life. What? Have fun. Because I just want to try it. And it's a five, it's a 10 minute experience. I think you'd cope all right. I think I'd be It won't right. feel like a 10 minute experience. I know. Well, it's interesting. I've, I've, I've definitely talked about this in the podcast before, but I have this dream, this recurring dream that always happens when I'm extremely sleep deprived, like a couple of days or even sometimes just over 24 hours without sleep. If I'm like passing out, I'll have an experience very similar to the convey about one. But it's more like I'm caught in an orbit in the universe and like I see the planets and it feels like I'm on the brink of discovering what the meaning of life is and then I wake up. I reckon if I do self, I'll have that same dream. That's my theory. That's my running theory. That's, that's what you want to do. That's, that's, to chase that that's the main reason I want to try. Just to chase that. It's not even a nightmare. It's actually beautiful. It's actually oh, yeah. a beautiful dream. <laughs> Next podcast, you rock up with these fucking dark circles in your eyes and the thousand yard <laughs> stairs. Don't play. <laughs> <blink. laughs> fucking yeah. black hole appears in the middle of your universe, just swallows everything. Oh, uh, please, God, let it happen. No, let's chuck it in D for now, just because yeah, we don't know where to put it. I would chuck it in D too. Oh, yeah. We've got to get through these. Fucking, get, yeah, yeah. We've got to get through these. Yeah, let's just explode the ones that we wouldn't fucking do. All right. How about like, bath sauce? Huh? How about bath sauce? F-tier. No, bro. You, I would want to be patient. What, zero. What? What? Oh, are you, the, talk, are the, you talking about the Walking about, Dead, bro? Bro, are you talking about there was that? It was like one. It was like 2011 or 2012. It was like um, some dude took bath salts, ran around naked. I forget where That's it like was. That's Florida. It was in Florida. It's always Florida. He ran around <laughs> naked. Florida man the dog right Florida. there. He found a homeless guy and he and he ate his face. He he ate his face off. He's he, probably really hungry. <laughs> bath salts to do that to you. We don't know what well, bath salts do. Mitchell, like, do you know how much about bath salts? Synthetic drugs. Uh, just makes just you like, eat people's faces. Makes you eat people's it's faces. Fucked. Doesn't sound good to me. Let's just get it out of the way. Chuck it in F move. Oh, oh, right speaking of, similar to bath salts, do PCP. PCP. That's, that, that's another Florida man drug right there. PCP is that's interesting. That's the one you see where like they'll rip their clothes off because they feel like they're like way their too high. On fire, or they're restricted. And they'll run around naked, and cops will like try to shoot them. They'll just fucking tank like forty shots. Interesting. Yeah. It's Interesting. crazy. I had my uncle. I uh, used to be a cop. Um, a uh, he used to he he did uh, what, what's it called parole. He was a parole officer. Uh-huh. Uh, one guy violated his parole. He goes in with his partner. Um, top floor of this apartment building near a stairwell. He goes up. He goes into the room. Guy is fresh on PCP, going ballistic. It, he was called in for a disturbance. He was his parolee. He goes in and he's trying to calm this guy down. Guy doesn't want to calm down. He sees a cop with the uniform. He starts swinging. His partner was, you know, a uh, like a five five six uh, woman. This guy was huge. He picked her up, threw her against the wall, fucked up her shoulder. Um, so she was out of action. And then he started focusing on my uncle. So my uncle backs out of the room, couldn't draw his gun. Guy grabs him. Uh, pushes him into the stairwell. My uncle grabs him, throws him down a flight of steps. Uh, the guy gets up, goes back up the steps, th- takes him, throws him down the steps again, gums back up, threw him down the steps three fucking times, and then finally put him in handcuffs, put him in the drunk tank to, uh, to chill out while he was getting processed. Guy went to sleep, sobered up, woke up, and was screaming at the top of his lungs because he broke like like fucking 13 bones wow. and he didn't know. He was walking on a broken leg. Jesus. Look, none of us have done it so I say we just truck it in C just because like, we don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I put it in F. That sounds terrible. I Let's put, be sensible. What, there, there are what although compels someone to take that shit. Although there are some, oh. there are some really wacky characters that look like wizards that 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 attest that PCP is one of the best drugs ever. Never if trust you, a wizard. <laughs> Never trust a wizard. You take yeah, that from true. someone who does PCP. What the fuck? Take that from a wizard. <laughs> yeah. My mom also told me a story about a guy that did uh, PCP and uh, woke up. Uh, guy sober and then actually woke up completely naked, climbing over a chain link fence into a playground in a elementary school uh, on Sunday. So there were no kids there, uh, and it was at three a.m. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like the perfect time to do exactly what he was doing. He's probably a smart guy. <laughs> I like how there's this date rape drug here. Why is what that is that? What is date that? Date rape drug? Like, are we talking roofies? Let's, let's discuss date rape drug because I, I personally believe that belongs in F tier. No, D tier. It's got some positive effects for it. And At what's least that, it's not D What's that misogynist, Matt? <laughs> 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 Tell me more. If you have let's, like get a really, let's get a clip of you. If you did something really real embarrassing the night before, you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I just did that. Then take it. It's true. And you'll completely forget about it. Uh, there, are, there are some people who are into taking date rape drugs for sexual pleasure. Don't actually pleasure. put that in D tier. Fucking get rid of it. <laughs> let's put it in F. Let's, put, let's, let's, let's keep going. Can we put but, it below F? But D for date rape. Date raping's bad. Bill Cosby's out of prison. Let's move on. Um, Toby. Yeah. Anything catching your eye on this list? Anything that really stands out to you? Uh, you like in the casino? MDMA's colorful. MDMA's colorful. MDMA's colorful. It is certainly colorful. is. Have you done MDMA? No. Pussy. You should. I thought about it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought about it one time, and then I didn't do it. One time. <laughs> MDMA is a beautiful drug when taken very responsibly as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Like I look, I'm no Einstein. I think we all know that, <laughs> listeners. But I think as long as you don't take it every fucking weekend or every month like some I mean, of these dumb the kids. UK kids. Uh, then rises. it can actually be a really wonderful experience and really actually teach you what, you know, open your eyes to a lot of love. Yeah, it's yes. an A or a, a B. A lot of pleasure. Because, like, in the sense I reckon of, it's an A, yeah. is, as long as you do it responsibly. Probably acid, yes. bef yeah, I, acid I, in front of MD, for I, sure. I really feel like... I feel like you're something with the acid. I feel like it is, too. But the problem is that it is just so good that people do... Want it, like, a They will over... They will definitely abuse it, man. And in particular, in Australia, there is definitely a big culture. Amazing and culture. obviously in, in Europe and everywhere, really. Mm. This is not an Australian thing. But, yeah. like, you, you hear a lot about people just going to clubs and taking MD every week. And I think if you do that for a year, you will never be happy again. Yeah. You have to yeah. treat this drug with the respect it deserves. It is fucking... Save it for like yeah. actual special. Because MDMA is yeah. essentially the soma. It's, it's a happy pill. It's a pill that makes everything okay. And especially, like, I wouldn't take MDMA alone in my house because that would probably make me sad. I did that and possible. I fucking had a sick time. Really? Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, dude. MDMA, I feel like, is best enjoyed with other people also on MDMA. Mm -hmm. The way that... It's like know, festivals. Everyone I, there's I, MDMA problems. is the only is the only drug that is the exception to my rule of no pills, no powders. <laughs> it is literally the only exception. And that's because um, when I do take MDMA, I'm, I'm spacing them out uh, three months at the absolute minimum. Mm -hmm. Three mm -hmm. months in between use. Uh, taking them every week or every month uh, or, or, you know, multiple times a week is going to degrade the shit out of your brain. It is going to completely fuck up all of your hormones. You will not feel happy genuinely. You will not feel happy. Yeah, it's not a good place to be. Doesn't it work by releasing all the serotonin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so that's why there's suicide energy. Sundays. You got a rage yeah. jam, bro. You need a rage like, jam. That, pop. De that depends yeah. on how much you take. I've never had to deal with uh, with a suicide. Well, Sunday. you also space it out. That's the biggest it, thing. It's true, but even even when I take it, I don't take the whole pill at once. Uh, you get the you know all the pills that I've ever taken. I've never taken the pressed pill tablets because I can't trust. I can't trust them. What the fuck, it's covered. There, there are testing kits, and you can test it. Like the time I did it alone, I actually tested it, and it was, it was, sure. you know, it came up good. Good. And I had a fucking sick time. I would recommend that everyone test their MDMA. I don't expect everyone to test their MDMA you, either, because a lot should. of the time it's a spontaneous thing. You, you would the, like to do at, it responsibly. At most decent festivals, they'll have tents outside that let you test your drugs, and I highly recommend that. I feel like that's do a that. with like a bunch of asterisks behind it, pretty but, much. But like, yeah. I, I disagree with the fact that you have to. That it's best enjoyed around people because I actually found that when I did it alone, it helped a lot with self love. And, That's true. And like I had a really good time by myself, and especially if you know how to occupy your time, you're not just like sitting there like I'm bored. I don't know. I don't want D. Like if you got some good music, yeah, if you got true. some good activities, I feel like you got room to have a boogie. I feel like acid and MD time. combined would be us tier. I haven't oh, tried it myself, but I feel flip? like it'd be great. I've done yeah. that, and it it is phenomenal. Yeah. I was uh, looking at the letters on my Snapchat, and they were all wiggling. Yeah, the weird, <laughs> the, the weird, epic. the weird thing I found with MDMA, um, taking it the way that I that that, that I would take it, because you know there, you you could take a, a pill at one time, but I would usually one take I, I would take my pill, I would split it in half, and then I would uh, take. You know, half half of the MDMA. We'll re -up later. Yeah, and then the other half I would put into like drink, uh, so like water, and just dissolve it in water, and then drink the happy water. Um, so that way it's you know you know not hitting me happy all at once and it's not hydrated. super intense. Because I always worried that I would get really anxious on it when I when I first did it. I was worried that it was going to be super anxiety inducing. But um, I recall first first time I took it, I was like 
this is great. I have no anxiety. I'm so smiley. I'm laughing. Like, I feel amazing. Like, I feel so mm. warm. I feel love. It's it, part of why it's so good to pair with acid because it takes that it edge takes off. It takes all the paranoia. Because, yeah. like, I, I went outside. Everyone was smoking weed. And I was thinking, yeah, I'll smoke weed. And I had a massive bong. I oh really God, pulled it. with MDs. I, I, pulled, I, pulled yeah, a, I pulled a huge bong. And, and it was during a period of time that whenever I would smoke a lot of weed, I'd get very anxious. I'd get paranoid. And I would get very in my head. And, like, I realized after I pulled this bong, I was like, oh, my God, I just pulled the massive bong. It's going to ruin my time. Like, <laughs> and then I sat there waiting for the anxiety to hit, and I was like, oh, I just feel really good. <laughs> so I had this really sick, like, weed body high that made me so yeah. relaxed. But I, I, all I could do was, like, smile and still be chatty. You're a little sweetie weed. swear, you know that? You're a little sweetheart. That was me the first He's time after sweetie. we did um, MD at a festival. We came back to Ryan P's house. Mm. Like, oh, everyone's like, oh, take a dab. I'm like, no, it's going to be <laughs> terrible. I'm like, calm down. It's going to fucking get me in my head. Mm. Fucking took a dab. Best dab ever. Yeah. yeah. Up there with like the first dab I ever took. If you, if you do feel shitty after an MDMA trip, I'd highly recommend spending time with friends and smoking weed. It's a good way to, yeah, good way smoking, to take that edge off. Because even the day after, I still, you know, you have to, if you're on MDMA, you got to chew gum. You, your jaw will hurt. I've yeah, seen, not necessarily. Well, yeah. it depends on how much you're on. You remember that, you know, we, we saw a guy who was on a lot of MDMA and his lips were black and blue and swollen in the morning. And That's because he just found his lips delicious swagger, all right? You're getting <laughs> hung up on the wrong things. I would put it at an A. Yeah, sure. It's I'm up okay there with, with It's up there with an A. Yeah. Sounds good. With breaks. With breaks. With breaks. With breaks. Be respect. responsible, you dumb fucks. Okay, I, I got I to gotta pose something to you guys, right? Okay, okay. pose okay. it. Have you ever, you know, been hanging out with the boys? Hanging out with the bros, the homies, the dudes, you know? Yeah. And it's like, damn, you know? These are my guys. You're like, you know what I wish they had? What? Big old titties. Big mm. old titties. Estrogen. Estrogen. Estrogen, <laughs> Estrogen pills. <laughs> Fuck it, you know. Let's just put in this. I'll put it in. Let's put it in. Let's put it on the show. Okay, it's an easy drug. Everyone's like, all like, oh, psychedelics can change your mindset and change your life, but bro. This can, is shit you can see. That you know? can give you, <laughs> that's got that results. Give you fat titties. <laughs> That'll that give you results delectable. right away. Exactly. Titties for the boys. Estrogen pills. S tier. Let's talk about crack real quick. <laughs> I'd say really, it looks like it looks like fudge. It looks like some nice. It does look like some nice fudge, but I will warn you, it's a very addictive drug and. Those fudge. It's really quite terrible the things that it does to communities. Actually, no, I'd say hi, yeah. Fuck that. I'd say hi. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that a, loves, does love a bit of crack, doesn't I it? Saw a guy, I saw a guy do crack <laughs> once. Hi, uh, F. Have I ever told a story? <laughs> I'm hi, F. I'm hi, F. <laughs> <laughs> no, every, no, you never told me about the story about your uncle who did crack. No, it's so not my uncle. It. How do you have stories about every drug? Yeah, like, <laughs> dude, I, went to, I went to college. <laughs> This Dude, is an I, encyclopedia. I, had a, I was in I was in Philadelphia. It was for, <laughs> this is the uh, reason this podcast is gonna be three hours. This <laughs> is has a thirty minute long story for every single drug. <laughs> I was in a, I was in a, I was in Philadelphia. Was in Nam and uh, <laughs> fucking. I was in Philadelphia <laughs> for a Death Grips concert, and of course, we were, that sounds fire. Yeah, we were walking. We were walking um, through the streets of Philadelphia. It was like nine p.m., and we had a joint. We were passing the joint back and forth on the way over. And we were passing by this alleyway, and as we're coming up, we hear this guy just going, <laughs> and just coughing. And we're like, oh, someone's probably puking or something. And as we walk past it, I see this guy uh, literally with a with fucking crack pipe in hand, just like fucking just doing that. And then my friend stopped and looked at him, and then he, he, he looked up like this. He went like that, and then he smiled, and he had three teeth. That's more than three you three teeth. Sure yeah, bro, you can, mun you can munch an <laughs> no, apple with dude, that. It, was, it, was, it would have had to be cranked. Wait, what did what the pipe look like? Was it, it was, long and skinny or did it have the bowl at the end? Um, It was uh, it was long and skinny. Oh, that's crack, yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, definitely yeah. crack. That's crack. <laughs> that's that's crack. crack. That's crack. That's crack. That's a meth pipe. And you can also use that to smoke DMT, which is what my friend Dave did. We can get to that later. Oh, uh, just make sure to wash out the crack beforehand. You'll be fine. Yep. Well... All right, so cracks F there. Crack. Trust we're going to judge a book by its cover. Let's put it in what, B. What about? <laughs> <laughs> it's basically caffeine, right? Yeah, it looks a little bit like gamer subs. It's caffeine yeah. plus, that's all. Crack it's saves you money, crack. though, because you don't have to go to the dentist anymore. Yeah, it's true. Or pay for your kid's dentist. You know, sugary caffeine drinks, I'll yeah. fuck up your teeth. No, put it in F. Crack's terrible. Yeah. We all know it is. Mm. Adderall, on the other hand. Uh, S tier. I've never, done, I've, I've never done Adderall. No, I I've, I've been around a lot of people that have done Adderall. I've, I've definitely been tempted. I've never done Adderall. But I've never done it. Mitchell's immediately put it in an S there because he loves a bit I'm, of Adderall. That's the reason why we're here, man. <laughs> he loves <laughs> a bit of Adderall. 
I've yeah. done it once. And yeah. uh, what did you? How was your Adderall experience? Like on purpose oh, or I just felt so awake. It felt like caffeine, but on steroids. Which we'll get to that one. Did next. you jerk off on it? Um. I don't remember. I jerk off a lot. You'd remember. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I seriously don't. I jerk off a Dude, lot. You do it so many times. It could have been in Ryan's bathroom. I don't fucking now, know. Now, Adderall, if I'm, if I'm correct, is very similar to meth as a compound, no? It's, it's, it, it's an amphetamine. It is amphetamine. It's an amphetamine. It's, it's, it's amphetamine. a derivative of meth. It's, it's, it's a, not a derivative of meth. It, it, it's just an amphetamine. Like the same like, family. You know, same family tree. There's, there's amphetamine, which is like a uh, what, what, they, what they use to describe a certain amount of compounds put together in a certain uh, formation. And then there's methamphetamine, which is that with a methyl group attached. The five right. group methyl. Yes. Uh, look, I, th I mean, Adderall clearly has its medical purposes. I'm, yeah, I I'm, guess. yeah, I'm actually for, prescribed it. You're prescribed it, yeah, ADHD and pain. stuff like that. I also know people who have no ADHD and take Adderall, and they do seem very awake and they do get a lot done, but they also say some crazy shit sometimes. <laughs> and I'm like, you are just not in touch with reality at all. I don't know. Or maybe I, they're I, just I, really in touch with reality. Maybe they're just really in touch. Maybe I should get into Adderall. I yeah. think that of all the drugs, I'll start uploading maybe, again. Maybe I'll start uploading every fucking day. Uh, and it'll just be me looking at the camera. Hey guys, I'm going to react to some memes. <laughs> 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 ah, this one's really funny. Oh, oh, let's go on to the next one. This one's Big Chunkus. Oh, I like Big Chunkus. You know, I know jack shit about Adderall and I don't really feel comfortable putting it anywhere because I don't want to hate on it. But I also don't, I don't think it's an I'll S tier it, drug. I'll, I'll probably don't. put it with C. I, I feel like, mm, like, I think it's best like low C. It, it, it does feel like it belongs next to caffeine. Maybe, I agree. I say B above caffeine. Oh, prescription, yeah. I think. Yeah. But, I mean, and I've like, taken both and like the biggest difference for me is like how they differ in stimulants is like caffeine is like more like Hey, could you just like make sure your yeah. your microphone is oh, yeah. away from you real quick. There you go. <laughs> right. So caffeine is more of like a uncontrolled kind of like up and down <laughs> energy. Mitchell just like, put the juror <laughs> up. I like what? that. Sorry, go on, go on. Sorry, right, I'm so, interrupting. Uh caffeine is like specifically coffee was kind of like the energy you get is kind of like all over the place, like up and down, all over the place. Right. But something like Adderall is more like chemically pure and medical grade, so it's like more of like a stable up and come down. Like well, there's no like you're dips like, and weaves you're to get it, into you know? pill, right? Mm -hmm. Is the pill like extended release to the point where like it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and then kind of tapers Slowly off? drops off. Yeah. Because with caffeine, your body's like, oh, there's some. Caffeine then oh, crash. Like you crash at like 4 p.m. I, I've heard Adderall has quite an intense come down too. It depends how much you take. And it, again, like he's saying, it depends if you take like the long version mm. or like the really short version yeah mm. like i found with the long version it's better than something like ritalin's long version like ritalin you'd crash at the end mm. but with something like adderall it's kind of like it's a more taper, gradual. right yeah i feel like it belongs in a high c and that's ignoring prescription right recreationally i would put it in the c tier i yeah. think but i think i don't know i don't really know very about. easy to abuse however oh, yeah. very yeah. very be, easy to that's abuse. why it's controlled it's so because there's a lot addictive. of there's a lot of people that will take adderall uh that aren't prescribed and they will then go oh this is great i'm like i feel like i'm myself but i'm so much better i'm tuned in i'm getting work done i'm very productive i'm answering all my messages i feel like i could tackle the world like i'm at, you know physically more capable i have more energy uh, more endurance so like looking at it completely from that aspect if you're taking that drug every day you're heightening your baseline of how you actually you know are sober and if you're always on Adderall and then you don't have any Adderall anymore, you're back down to this baseline, which you then interpret to be less um, effective than who you are normally, which will make you, mm -hmm. you know, could lead to you resenting yourself um, have you ever and taking more. Have you ever considered doing like talks at schools? Or like uh like going to elementary schools and just like talking about the drugs because <laughs> like you no were... because I get kicked off the stage because I as soon as you go to weed I'd be like this is okay just smoke uh, it when you're in college and oh. MDMA too <laughs> like, yeah. okay it's I do MDMA <laughs> twice a year and let me tell you it's, really it's a really nice time anyway, oh, to continue but... off what you're saying about like if you don't take it you'd feel like you're normal yeah. like low baseline and shit. That's the reason why I'd rank it slightly above caffeine mm. is because when I was drinking caffeine daily and if you didn't take it. You just feel fucking depressed feel the entire awful. day. Mm. But like if I don't take Adderall, it's just like because it's more consistent and linear, you don't get those ups and downs when you're not off it. You just feel like 
lethargic more than anything. But right. you, if you go for you, a run, you'll be fine. You do have ADHD though. Yeah. And I feel like we should be considering these drugs not no, it's as definitely a prescription a yeah, for. Yeah. If you're abusing it, then I'd say C2. But I understand your experience. It's the coolest looking drug on the tail. Yeah, look at it. It's it even got the name cool. written on it. It's so got look, little balls yeah. inside the pill. It belongs in a high C. It's got Let's pills in yeah. the pill. That's so sick. Let's talk about ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> can I, yes. have, I have yes. no experience with ketamine, although my sister had it done intravenously. Yeah, yeah, yeah we know about, about this. this. You've, you've told us about your ketamine addict sister. I'm kidding. That's a joke. His sister is probably lovely. Um, ketamine's okay. It's a bit of fun. It's uh, definitely, I think, less damaging than other drugs. Like it's a, it's. I'd say less easy to abuse than something like yeah. MDMA. It's a dissociative, isn't it? It's a dissociative. It's very similar to being drunk. Mm -hmm. do, you I, get, do you feel like it's like drunk with a slight hint of like MDMA almost? Nah, no, it's it? not euphoric. Although, it's not like euphoric, but... Yeah, I mean, that's what it... When I think MD, I think that you euphoric feeling. It's a hard one to describe. It's like being drunk, but without the nice. drowsiness. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. Like your inhibitions kind of just go away. You feel a little out of yourself, so like you're not really in your head the same way. It feels like it dumbs you down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Tell you like, what, it if you're a YouTuber, <laughs> you should take it from a fan. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. That right, Mason? yeah I just, I just had this <laughs> random thought. <laughs> just yeah. randomly. Yeah. It's, it's, it was used a lot as a clubbing drug, uh, a lot on the dance floor. I've never really. Before then, it was used as a horse tranquilizer. Yeah. I've never really. Yeah. A horse tranquilizer as well. And it is used uh, actually therapeutically as well yes, increasingly um, um to treat to ptsd treat, to treat chronic pain, chronic pain. Uh, among other things uh because with my sister it was like, like migraines know, or some shit you know, she had chronic migraines so they try you know she was looking for anything because it, it's super resistant to treatment and so they were like oh ketamine clinic hey we're new like hey how about you come come over to the ketamine clinic we'll put a fucking iv in your arm and give you intravenous <laughs> ketamine for fucking three hours and mm. she's like okay it'll help my headache didn't didn't actually help her chronic pain, but it did help her depression. There you hmm. go. Yeah, and it is increasingly used to treat uh, chronic depression. Have you heard of esketamine? That sounds like a made-up thing. It is thing. not a made-up thing. <laughs> I, it is not a made-up thing. Is that like little pump drop? <laughs> dude, esket they called it esketamine, <laughs> which is hilarious, but it is, it is like very similar to ketamine, but the only difference is an antidepressant that you snort. It's uh, it's like a nasal spray. You snort, it goes right up into your brain, and apparently it... it, 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 uh, it it basically, it's supposed to do something with your mind to, uh, to, to, to help you get out of a depressive state. Give me some right now. It's still, it's still a trial. Oh, it's oh. still doing trials, but it's a real thing. You can look it up. Wait, it's ketamine. Okay. Ketamine. Get it, Where are you putting ketamine? Ketamine's a B tier drug as far as I, I'm I'd concerned. I'd say B, yeah. Let's I don't know B. enough about it, but I know uh, enough to trust you. I, th I think it's a bit of fun, and I, d I think it's definitely less harmful than a lot of other recreational drugs, and obviously has its medical uses as well. But I'm no expert. I'm just a bloke that does a bit of ketamine here and there. <laughs> All right, then for your next favorite drug, let's go straight into. Um, <laughs> but not that often. Heroin. Let's do heroin. Let's do heroin. In moderation. Let's uh, chuck that shit in F. Yeah. Never tried it. Moving on. And I'll only try it if I'm going to die, probably. Heroin is not worth it. It is so. Just, no. So weird. Because the thing is, there we go. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go so I got this ant right. He's, it's like he's <laughs> reading a definition out of the dictionary every time. <laughs> no, go ahead. Go Fine. ahead. Okay. Please. Most people don't start doing heroin uh, in general. Most people either get addicted to prescription pills, uh, either taken from a dealer or prescribed. Usually prescribed in the USA. Um, a lot of people came back from Vietnam addicted to morphine, um, and then when they couldn't get morphine anymore because they were like, get fucked, well, I like, got my fucking, you know, got this fucking injury that, that, you know, during the war and I needed to cope with my pain somehow, and oh, heroin, heroin's there, it's heroin. Heroin's very <laughs> cheap, um, and, and that's what started that earlier on, but, but recently, now, nowadays, how people get hooked on it is that they get given it in powdered form, and they are told, oh, just sprinkle it on a cigarette, just sprinkle it on a joint, like, you know, just, you smoke the heroin. Yeah. And so people will Deadly. start, you know, start, you know, cause, cause when you smoke heroin, very, very different from ejecting it. When you eject it, you're pretty much passed out. It, it, it puts you in a catatonic state. Mm. When you smoke it, you're a lot more awake and you feel good. You feel like there's no pain. You feel very awake, you, you know, and, and, 
and you're like, this, and you're like, this is great. <laughs> it feels us too. I mean, you probably know, feeling. It's, it's probably us too. You know, yeah. And the thing is, and the thing is, it's cheap. It's like only five dollars a head, ten dollars mm. a head. You know, get you through a couple of a couple of things when you're smoking it, and then the more you do it, the you know, you feel like shit without it, and then you don't start getting more and more. And even smoking it isn't good enough for you. And okay, then you I have to it. move on to injecting it. Consider this: when Jimi Hendrix was doing heroin, he made some fantastic records. <laughs> That's all the point. He did that. So S tier. Yeah. A lot of musicians did heroin. Yeah, and honestly, it was the it was the death of a lot of musicians too. Uh, I put it out of fucking F. Let's put this shit in F. Uh there's so, like there's so probably many feels like, amazing, but it's not worth the cost. Yeah, uh, uh but then again, I haven't tried it. So, so the cost to your body, it's very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's talk about cocaine real quick. Cracks. Hell of a drug, cocaine. I'd say D tier. I don't I genuinely it. don't think I've ever done really good cocaine. Well, it's Australia. You just you get dog shit here. I think I've had enjoyable experiences on cocaine. It's because you need to find the good stuff, mate. I don't. I look, have fun finding like, good stuff in Australia. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go to Russia or something. It's shit. always just caked up with all kinds Russia? of shit. Russia? Yeah. Uh, no. It, no. Me go Mexico. Mexico. Go down to Mexico. The border. Do South America is where it's all at. I. I no, I know. I never do cocaine. Cocaine is very easy to develop a dependency on. It Especially feels, if you're inclined to stimulants like that. Yeah. I personally never feel like I never feel like I could really go for some coke right now. I've never felt that way in my life. But then again, I've probably never done really good cocaine. But every time I do try it, I'm always like, this was kind of almost like made my night worse. You yeah. know, almost like, made me just jittery and like, like you can I don't like it. Pretty hard, I, like, I don't like it that much. I think it's D for sure. What are you gonna say, man? You can crash from it pretty hard, like at the end of the night. Mm. And they say you shouldn't mix it out with alcohol, but a no. lot of people do mix it with alcohol. Definitely do you start not drinking, mix you're like, you know alcohol. what I need? Cocaine. It's it's for me. It's a D tier. It's a D tier. It's like I'm the, sure the side I, effects just don't outweigh. I put the it positive for it. I put it in between nicotine and Adderall. Yeah, but you would what? though. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> look, I look. I don't recommend people get into cocaine. No, I, I feel like there's other shit it's to a, do that's it's better. It's a fucking F tier for me. Cocaine's I'd say super common too, It's an right? F tier Really man. common, really common. A I lot always, of people do it. I always I, watch I people do it. I don't, do I don't it. fuck with it that much. I always watch people right, do it. Alright, cocaine's not worse it. than heroin. Yeah, I, I, it's a little bit. Let's that's put it in D, D and let's let's put it high D. How about that? Yeah, high D, high D. It's a high D. The kids don't do cocaine. Your life can be very full without it. I stick I stick to F. I yeah. think it's uh, it's just there's there's no silver lining to cocaine use. Yeah, well, Swagger, you're kind of a pussy. Date rape drug is. Never done cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Let's talk about Zans. I've never done a Zan. F, I, F, I don't really ever F. want to do a Zan. I'd say it's D tier right next to codeine. It is same F. shit. It is. What, what if F. you're on a really long flight? F. What, yeah. but, but Drake said he did half, half a Zan. Zan. What a Japan. F. Half a Zan, bro. What if you go into Japan? Obviously, there there's clearly some medical legitimacy to a Xanax from time to time, though. No? Sure. If if only all the doctors didn't just keep upping prescriptions and getting people fucking addicted to it. All right, let's not get political. No, I'm I'm pretty ha comfortable putting it in F, but it's I've never tried it, F. and I don't know much about it. it. I so. don't think it's F. Zanix? I'd say between Nangs and Salvia in D tier. Have you done a Zan? No. But like, so what it's, the fuck are you talking about? It's the I same keep, shit as codeine. It's like I keep light forgetting. Yeah, I mean, we do have codeine and D, so I feel like like low D is probably yeah, it's like maybe yeah, low D because it's Obvious definitely light. not on the same level as crocodile bath yeah. salts, crack, and heroin. <laughs> Mitchell, <Okay>. is, <laughs> is Xanax a barbiturate or a benzodiazepine? I always I always is get it, that mixed up. I'm a podcast producer, not a scientist. Well, you have, yeah. you have yeah. a monitor in front of you, Google yeah. it. I don't know how to spell any of those words, Swagger so Souls. Look. The the point is with Xanax, Valium, like Clonopin, shit like that, the, the anti anxiety medication, like the more you take, the more you get accustomed to it, you get a physical dependency, and then you're absolutely fucked. You are fucked beyond recognition. True. Goodbye to your motor control. You're going to be seeing a lot of fucking hallucinations, and it's not going to be fun. You're going to be in constant pain. I agree, but also take a look at everything in F and tell me it doesn't belong in a low D. It fucking belongs in F. <laughs> right. It fucking belongs in All F, right. and I'll okay. stick by there. How about meth, then? What do you write? Lil Xan's meth? my favorite rapper, okay? It belongs on a low D. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about you had better music days. Let's talk about GHB. <laughs> And how dare you? Get high, boys. <laughs> Get high, boys. <laughs> Get high. I, I pulled up a little article about GHB earlier. Allow me to share with you, my friends. Uh, GHB, other names, G, fantasy, grievous bodily harm, juice, liquid ecstasy, liquid E, liquid X, Georgia Home Bay, soap, scoop, cherry, meth, blue nitro, fishies, is a depressant, which means it slows down the messages traveling between the brain and the body. It's kind of a party drug. It's very much a sex drug. I've never done it. Never been offered it. Never seen it. Don't know much about it. 
Um, you but mean, you it's rate it? it's like, apparently quite unsafe, and uh, will give you a very good time. So it's less get <laughs> high boys and more let's get hot boys. Uh, <laughs> all I know is that when, most of the time when I hear about GHB, it's in relation to some kind of Sex? sexual. Then, uh, then, then it's only fitting to put it in D. <laughs> I don't know. Sex uh, drugs sound lit. I don't know what the ri the risks are. If the if the dose is too high, you might overdose, um, which will <laughs> yeah, cause okay. vomit. Oh, it will cause vomiting, irregular or shallow breathing, confusion, irritation, and agitation, hallucinations, blackouts, and memory loss. They um, don't sound that so bad. You sound, the, so you sound like an American prescription commercial. The long term effects may include severe memory problems, heart disease, hallucinations, extreme anxiety, breathing problems. <laughs> they, they don't <laughs> sound that bad. Risk. Withdrawal. Giving up GHB after using it for a long time is challenging because the body has to get used to functioning without it. This is why it's important to speak to a health professional before planning to stop using GHB. I'll just call up Dr. Tim and <laughs> I admit, man, I've been doing a lot of GHB trying to get off it. Um, yeah, it seems like it seems like it just kind of is a uh, I don't know. It's, it's like ecstasy. It's odorless it's like, and colorless. Have you ever done G GHB, Mitchie? <laughs> <laughs> He's just shaking his head. Like, it doesn't. I, I, it doesn't sound as bad as some shit like heroin and crack, and doesn't sound as good as like alcohol and nicotine. So like, I probably place that in D. D Let's yeah. safely put it in D. We yeah. don't know much about it, but it does sound like a bit of a high reward, high risk drug. All right, should we just get this if one out of the way? If you've, taken, if you've taken GHB and disagree with us, uh, then uh, do a five star review in the comment section below and tell us about it, your experience. Yeah. Or any of the drugs that we've said we don't know much about. I reckon if I was going to a like really nice orgy and they were like, we're all going to be on GHB, dude. It's going to be weird if you don't do it. I'd probably do <laughs> probably, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about DMT. We have, we have a friend mm. uh, who loves DMT. Many friends. Many friends who have done a bit of DMT. None of us here have done it, right? No. Nope. Nope. Toby? No DMT trips I recently? Frequently. Frequently. Oh, yeah. uh, that's where you're getting all these wacky ideas from. Always on DMT. <laughs> I'm on it right now. Is that what's in that vape right there? I don't yep. know. Ah. I, I truly don't know how it feels. I've listened to a lot of people describe their experiences. Um, it sounds pretty cool. Really. It sounds pretty cool. But I do believe that you should probably be at a certain level of maturity and readiness to do it. I certain do intend age. on doing it at some point in my life. For Same. sure. I'm still pretty give or take. If I probably, do it or not. I'll probably do it after I have kids and then they're in college and I'm retired and then I have nothing else. And then it's just like, all right. You have a breakthrough I'll and probably realize do it before I, I wasted my entire life. I hate all this. Yeah, that's why you do it before you have kids and do all that bullshit, you idiot. <laughs> I, I went to someone's house the other day and uh, my girlfriend and I sat down and the person said, hey, uh, can I offer you anything? Uh, you know, a, a, a drink, some alcohol, a joint, DMT. <laughs> Were you they think, joking or were they what actually had house? What's no, the I, address? I, I think there. you guys can assume whose house that was. Oh, yeah. Manuel's. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh, I actually have no idea whose house you're talking about. <laughs> so, oh, 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 that's okay. Yeah. So it was Manuel. Um, no, DMT, it sounds cool, man. I don't know. I, I haven't heard too many bad things about it, truly. I've never heard anyone be like, I. So DMT, DMT and I had a really bad time. Yeah, I'm pretty comfy putting it in B at a high B just because I don't know what it's like yet. A swagger's looking at me like, yeah. yeah I think it's a it's, it's, yeah. Dude, it's like it's really Thank like that. Us. It is very, it is very perspective shifting. Yeah, it can, uh, it can absolutely challenge uh, all of your beliefs, um, all of your feelings, really? all yeah. your experiences. Have you done I feel like a lot of people could use more. No, of but my friend Dave. Oh, oh, there, there it is. is. Everyone have a drink. He's, he's, he mentioned Dave. Oh, I fucking got nothing left. I'm fucking out of it. I mean, I've seen my Alcohol friend. SD. I've seen, I've seen Dave take uh, <laughs> DMT many a times, and every time I, you know, it's like I've seen him smoking in a joint and and just sit down and be like. Oh, my vision is tessellating, and I just be like, "Oh, really?" It'd be like, "I'm like, are you having fun?" He's like, "Just be quiet." And you just sit there. <laughs> How are you gonna base your judgment of DMT based off Dave? Because the guy that probably is the he, did he did a lot of DMT and bro. a lot of other shit too. Yeah, he well, made, would he rate like, it above like, something like, like, like it's like, it's like Dave's know? like a like a like. And respect to Dave, if you're listening, I'm sure you're a lovely guy. Swagger speaks very fondly of you. I have I no do. idea what you're like. I miss you, Dave. But <laughs> it seems like. Dave's impression of DMT <laughs> is very different to a squeaky clean normal person. I guess I mean, DMT, yeah, no? Dave is the same Dave. Dave that, just sounds like a cook cunt. Well, period. He's the same Dave that broke open a bottle of Benzedrex and drank it during a snowstorm, which okay. is basically <laughs> he. It's basically metabolized meth in your stomach. Yeah. So it's like a crack addict trying DMT and be like, "Man, I gotta start doing more crack." <laughs> like it's not a fair judgment of DMT. Okay. 
but do you reckon it's i don't think it's the same as like caffeine and ketamine that's it it doesn't it doesn't feel like it belongs there eh? it feels yeah, like it feel belongs like in a. a yeah but like behind or uh, maybe between only us because we haven't let's put it at the it bottom be of a for all we know. because we've heard good things but we don't know yeah and also yeah. joe rogan's funny he's in a sauna look at him <laughs> <laughs> speaking of meth you want to just get that one out of let's the way let's talk about meth I talk about meth a lot on this podcast. Put that candy back, I buy and you're that meth. I just think it's a funny thing to joke about, but it's always one of those things that I'd probably really do if I was on my deathbed. Meth or, is absolutely funny. awful. Pretty funny. It will. So I did meth for many years. It really deteriorated his health. That's why he. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's just a bunch of a bunch of holes. That's why he wears the mask. Yeah. No, I. Uh, the mask. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what the point of the mask is. Me- it's a uh, crippling meth addiction. It's like somebody did a graph of how your body releases dopamine. And the highest, the, the highest dopamine release that your body's intended to do uh, in nature is, is, is set at like a certain bar. Mm. And that is when you have sex. To, to procreate is what your body is programmed to do. And once you do that, it's supposed to, that, that's your, your, your entire instinctual uh, reasoning for being on this earth is to find a mate, fuck it, have a baby, and then, you know, Bye. there you go, continue your genes. So that is the baseline for how high your dopamine should go naturally. Now, when you take meth, say the, the baseline is here, uh, and, and this is when you smoke meth. For the audio listeners, his hands are level, and they're getting increasingly very, less very, level. Very, very, increasingly very level. much above that, that Wait, so that meth percentage. is like 50 times better than sex? Way more than 50 times. Yes. But the problem sex with that, meth Toby, is- the problem with that is that once you do that and you break your ceiling, then you uh, everything will feel hollow and empty and awful. I've watched a lot of videos about this guy. He's do a, more meth. He's a YouTuber. He's ginger. I forget yeah, his name, man. Oh, is it Cody? What's his name? I've seen that you know guy. this guy, Mitchell? This YouTuber? He's, he's a ginger uh, guy. A drug guy. Yeah. He talks about doing like the drugs and shit. Oh, man, I wish I could remember his name um, to give him a shout out. He's, he's like, that's the one drug I wish I never CG took. Kid. In the first CG, CG Kid. Kid. Yeah, he's talked a lot about his experiences on meth and like made pretty honest videos about it. It's very interesting. It's I recommend. not good. But yeah, that those, watch those videos. They'll, they'll that teach you not to do meth. That will scare the shit out of you. Yeah, that Rightfully so. Meth is a very scary drug. And there was no reason to ever do it. It would completely change your priority system. Okay, but, completely. But if math never existed, we wouldn't get Breaking Bad. That's arguably true. the best show of our generation. Great it's show. S tier. S tier. Can we just leave it in S tier? Let's just leave it in S tier. Fuck it. Breaking Bad. Let's just leave it. Breaking Bad. Right up there with weed and estrogen pills. <laughs> Alright, let's talk K2 real quick. The fuck is K2? K2. Uh, I've done K2. K2, you, spice, K2. fake yeah. synthetic marijuana. Oh, Horrible for you. What was your yeah. K2 experience? I laid in a in a hot tub for like eight hours and it was just amazing. S here. Really? That's cap. <laughs> what? Is is this is, no, it's I've, like scuff weed? No, it's synthetic I've done weed. K2. Was synthetic well, I've heard weed. people like freaking out. Yeah, what K, K2 got really big in New Zealand for a while, yeah. so much to the point where like they made a whole campaign about also, it and shit when i had that to be fair it wasn't just k2 there was also mdma in it ah oh, that, okay. well, that's which awesome. is probably awesome. why it was so yeah. good but i was really relaxed and just having a great time in the spa bar i i, I truly couldn't say what the downsides of k2 are because i've heard nothing but negatives from people Same. Like me too me too i, I took know, it but by i don't know what they are i knew a guy i didn't take it intentionally i want to make that clear yeah <laughs> i knew a guy that uh smoked k2 on a beach and uh, ran around in circles and screamed for about 15 minutes. He said it was the worst time of his life. That was in middle school. D tier. I don't know. Probably F. I'd say high like, F. Listen, high here's F. the thing. Weed exists, so why do K2? Put exactly. it in F. Put it in F. Right now. But they put it in high F because it's definitely better than fucking an alligator or whatever. Yeah, can you put <laughs> crocodile at the bottom? Yeah, thank you. And put Xanax uh, over from GHB. Oh, he can't stand <laughs> it. Actually, yeah, yeah, he's right. He's right. Yeah. All, All right. right. Xanax. Peyote. Pe- peyote. Peyote. Masculine. Masculine. Is. What's that? is peyote the one that lasts like 24 hours and you throw up and shit? That's uh, DMT. But no, that's that's, that's uh, it's five ayahuasca. Yeah. Oh, ayahuasca. Oh, that's yeah. five that's what I was right? thinking so what's of. what's peyote? The fuck? Pe- uh, peyote it's is uh, a, cacti. a cactus. Oh. A cactus in uh, South America or the southern border. It's quite it popular in Silicon Valley. The active, the active ingredient to peyote is mescaline, which is extremely psychoactive. It's what the, uh, I believe it's what the Aztecs used. Um, when they, it was the Aztecs and the Mayans, I think it was the Aztecs, the, the crazy All folks. them motherfuckers. But they, they used it when they brought, uh, the family of the person they're sacrificing at the top of the temple, they'd bring them up, 
uh, person to be sacrificed is like, yay, yay, I'm going to get sacrificed to the god, yay, I'm doing a good thing. Uh, and then their family's like sitting there like, look at our hero, look at our little hero. And then they give them all masculine, then they drink it. And then the idea of the ritual is so that uh, the family can look through the eyes of their son before he's beheaded and his head is kicked down the steps. Love that. Love that. Yeah, A tier. <laughs> kind of epic. Uh, yeah, mescaline, I think, probably does belong in A tier along with acid and DMT and, and the rest. Because, yeah. you know, it's food, comparable yeah. with psychedelic. I I've never done it. I don't know. I've never done it either. Although I, I, would like, I would like to try it sometime. I've heard that it's used quite a lot in Silicon Valley with these big thinking out the box technological folk trying to mm. come up with crazy ideas. Elon Mescaline. Elon Mescaline, man. I want to try it sometime. All right. Anyway, it probably belongs in A. It's probably safe. So right. You want to get the last psychedelic out of the way? I know no, I want to get the other one. two out of the way and then no, no, save no. the best for last. Date rape is there for a reason. It's it's that's meant to be off Below the list. F. I mean, wow. you just put it on to F and just oh, put it idea. put it even to EA even behind crocodile. Just because of the intention it's used for it. Let's talk about steroids. Yeah. Second to last. Never done them. Um, I don't want my dick to shrink. True. I don't is, want that. But what if you dick? want big I... muscles? <laughs> That is true. What if you're big have muscles? muscles? I guess I'll just have to put in like the work. Really like muscle. big muscles, tiny penis. <laughs> like it's know. a pretty even balance. Is it, is it the penis? I thought it shrinks I, the testes. It's I the testes, yeah. Well, yeah. I, see, I think it, it makes your dick... Which might make your dick look I think, bigger. I think oh. it does result in erectile dysfunction or something like that. But it, I don't really know shit. It'll fuck up your like, natural testosterone production for the rest of your life if you fuck your brother. Well, then you just take the estrogen pills. Oh, get yeah. really strong and then just become a woman. I put it before. I put woman. it before Xanax because it's kind of unnatural and it's. A bit... I don't. I mean, some <laughs> sometimes yeah. they use steroids for people that like recover from a coma. True. But that's like yeah, but that's, that's, yeah. that's medical yeah. reason. Yeah. But this yeah. Yeah. like I'm in the gym. I'm gonna fucking. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's pretty unhealthy. Fucks with the testosterone, makes you super aggressive. Um, uh, will get you banned from the Olympics. Uh, if you know, really good if you're a cyclist, but really bad if you don't want to get caught. Mm. Um, so yeah, I probably probably not that much fun. It, Doesn't really result no, in that much crazy shit happening it's, with your brain. It's or the anything. whole heroin cycle of having to inject shit without feeling good. Fuck it, not worth it not unless really, you're going yeah. for a very specific body type. D tier, D tier above Xanax. Mm. Shroomies, shroomies, the shrooms. best man. Shrooms, the, the best for last apparently. I think shrooms belongs in S tier. Yeah, I've slight, I've done acid. Can we just bring that like, down, maybe? What? <laughs> <Probably Yeah. good laughs> Put it behind shrooms because it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Shrooms yeah. are at least a little yeah, bit. Yeah, shrooms a bit. Like, far, yeah. Further than weed, I, surely. I, I no, we yeah. I would honestly put it above weed because yeah. I think that shroom. I've never had a bad experience on shrooms. Same shit as weed grows from the ground. They make their grows off a cow shit. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. I've had so Yum. many epiphanies on shrooms. I've had so many creative nights. I love yeah. doing them alone. I love doing them with friends. I think they break down barriers. I think that it's fucking fantastic. I've done acid like at least like three or four times now, but from the few times I've tried shrooms and like the little bits that I tried, I'm slowly yeah. leaning more towards them. Yeah, for me, I'm, uh, based on my experiences, they're better than acid mm. for sure. First mm. time I did shrooms, watched Shrek 2 with all my friends, thought it was amazing, <laughs> wanted to live in Shrek 2. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, second time I did shrooms was with you, and I threw up for an hour, which <laughs> wasn't very pleasant, wasn't very good at all, but visuals were kind of pleasing, although I was grabbing onto the couch for dear life, and then <laughs> we, uh, th then once, once I got over the peak, that was kind of unpleasant, uh, then it was so good. You remember when we were like trying to see who could jump higher, and then we were like double high fiving. <laughs> it makes you a child. It makes you it just make you fascinated child. by the funniest it, things. And then we watched. Curious. Uh, then we watched. Um, we watched uh, the Truman Show. Truman Show. We went for a walk through oh, the park. Like yeah, the park. and then we got recognized. <laughs> I love them, man. I really think they're a beautiful thing, and I can't think of a bad thing to say about them. Um, maybe someday I'll have a bad trip, but they. I just feel like that's not even an option for me when I take shrooms. Like it doesn't even feel like there's any negativity lurking anywhere. It can be. Like I took them, and there was peaking when I had an empty stomach. So like mm. in that time we'll between, if, I had food. It was kind of like yeah, on a physical that, level. I couldn't, I couldn't eat great anything. That, I couldn't eat anything on shrooms that wasn't like. A, a byproduct of nature like i right. couldn't i couldn't yeah i because yeah. like it was like we had watermelon and like fruit and strawberries and blueberries and that sh and like raspberries and that shit was so good so good on shrooms i can only eat like fucking fruits and veggies mm. but i tried like i was like oh maybe i should chew some gum and i put like a stick of spearmint gum in, gum in my mouth and it tasted like poison it, it fucking spat it out immediately right mm. curious yeah I, I definitely watch what you've been eating and what you're gonna eat when you're on shrooms but mm. By and large, I think, very introspective. 
and very good for breaking down walls, maybe focusing on things you hadn't thought about. I love them. That's how I feel. Yeah. All right. Let's get me. more of those roll out. We need more. So <laughs> I, have, I have some more. Some cow shit. I have Shoot some man. more. I don't, I don't do them. You know, I've, I've had streams in my cupboard for ages. I don't do them well, uh, all the time. But imagine, every couple of weeks, I like to do them. Imagine if I did them. That, that time when I visited you when, when uh, you were in Wellington. Oh, yeah. We ate those shrooms. Uh, and I you were a, worried they were moldy. I had a big old bag of shrooms. <laughs> moldy? Dude, it's, it's fungus. <laughs> it's They're literally yeah. moldy. No, no, I, I just didn't want to smuggle them on a plane. Yeah, yeah. it's more than yeah. fair. But I was, you know, I was like 17 planning on uh, taking shrooms. It'd probably be way cooler now if you did, though. Let's be honest. Yeah. You, you probably would have been trans way sooner. I probably would have been. <laughs> You'd be like, oh my God, this is so evident now. I'm yeah. taking shrooms. I'm going to fucking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but what's this list, though? We have yeah, shrooms. Let's, 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 let's do a big recap uh, starting with the worst. Okay. The worst in F tier we have K2. Of no spice. Bath salts. Bath salts. PCP. PCP. Crack. Thank you for saying them all after I say them, by the way. It's <laughs> nice to have to say. Crack, heroin, crack heroin, crocodile, crocodile, and date rape drug, which is just really, <laughs> really funny um, the way that that's phrased. I like how there's an orange in the picture. It makes it look like a tropical little paradise. <laughs> date rape drug. In D tier, we have cocaine, codeine, nangs, salvia, GHB, steroids, and Xanax. I feel pretty comfy with those pickings. I, Definitely I D tier. Put, I put Xanax in F. Personally. We already know that. We know that you're you're uh, you don't like Xanax. That's great. Maybe yeah, I'll take a Xanax and relax. Uh, C <laughs> Adderall, nicotine, and alcohol. I feel pretty comfy with that. Honestly, yeah, 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 pretty yeah. comfortable with that. I mean, maybe Adderall belongs not quite in that category. I, I can see where Matt's coming from, but I feel comfy with that. In B tier, we have caffeine and ketamine. The, Let's go, <laughs> the <baby>. holiest duo. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure where else to put them, but it feels about right. In A tier, we have acid, MDMA, Joe DMT, Rogan. and oh, peyote. Okay. Peyote? Peyote. Um, I, cool. I like that. I like that. Let's do them all at once sometime, hey? <laughs> and then S tier, we have shrooms, weed, estrogen pills, and meth, which <laughs> is a bit of a funny joke, but, you know. Yeah, but math, <laughs> math is only in the S tier because it spawned the, the greatest show. Oh, Rick, and Morty. Exactly. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. So much meth those guys do. It's incredible. <laughs> no, but shrooms, weed, and surely a couple of estrogen pills for the boys. Imagine being the on boys. shrooms and you've got some huge titties all of a sudden. Yeah. Take some meth. <laughs> like, mm. Sounds fun to me, man. Yeah. Anyway, this mm. is our drug tier list. Uh, how long did the show run for? Let's, let's figure hour out how long 40. it took us to place these. <laughs> hour 40. Yeah, about an hour That's 40. Not bad. Not That's bad at all. It flew by for me. I had a really nice time yeah, uh, rating fun. these drugs yeah. with you. Probably all the drugs you took. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Guys, thank you for listening. Hopefully, you agree with our placements. Let us know in the comments down below if, and if you, you disagree. And if you want to get yourself your very own drug to take, then go to gamersups.gg and use code MISFITS for 10% off your order. 10% off. Get some caffeine in Thank you yeah. for sponsoring the show. And uh, one more thing before we, before we uh, you know, end the show here. We still have these JBL speakers. If you are interested in picking up one of these beautiful... Come on, Mason. Pick it up. She show it to the camera. Look how beautiful that is. Nice. Yeah. Real so nice. if you want to grab this limited edition JBL Misfits themed uh, uh, speaker, then you can go to jbl.com.au and go to the JBL Go category and then choose it as your colorway. So, uh, yeah, it is only available in Australia or New Zealand. So if you feel like listening to some tunes while you're on weed or estrogen pills or meth, <laughs> then, uh, then, then go over to jbl.com.au, grab that speaker, and, uh, yeah, listen away. Fuck yeah, guys. We've been the Misfits. Eat ass, suck a dick, and do drugs, and we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.